fighter in the kit. Had to run it back, cause we back at it again. Yeah, we gon' keep it moving like it's never gonna end. When it was Brendan, when it was Brian, when it was just talking to friends, we got the kid Callen on the left with the fighter on the right. Ay, had to do it right, cause we coming at you live. Back with the team, had to keep it OG, must see TV. Yes, we did, cause we back at it again. It's the fighter in the kid. This is really the fighter and the kid. We're out. Come on, baby. Yeah. You're drinking your whiskey. I'm drinking my magic mind. That's the difference between us. Yeah. Now, this is not a sponsor, in case anybody's wondering, but I'm rolling on magic mind right now. Because it's a sponsor it's on Cats only. After Dark. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Oh, That's shit. why they're in the fridge. Oh, damn. Yeah, I know. Daddy, I'm stealing them. I'm stealing them. I'm obsessed with Daddy these. Daddy spins and I a wide out. web. This is kind of the only, this is a nootropic, I guess. It's, is uh, it nootropic? Yeah. It it's fucking, greens? It, this is uh, so Let the guy who created it. Sip. Yeah, the guy who created it. Fucking. Um, hey, am I gonna shit my pants? No, mix this no, and it's, the, uh, no. It, both of I these? don't know. But the the guy who created it had a heart thing. He's made all the money in the world. This is the only reason I, I know about it. He wrote a book called Beyond Coffee. I'm like, whatever. I read this thing. The fucking dude's like, just try it. You know, you got Sigmatic and mushrooms are very powerful. There's a blend of mushrooms, green tea, and a bunch of other shit that is so special. But I'm telling you, dude, I'm fucking, I'm the guy who's like, no, look, it's got, it's got matcha, lion's mane, mm. all these fucking different mushrooms. You know what, but there's been a, two grams of sugar, though. Oh, no! But there's been a lot of research into it, like nine years of research. And I'm, I'll, I'll go with anybody who's, who doesn't, nice. yeah, it's nice, right? I'll go with anybody who doesn't, who's not looking to make money on it, who does it as a philosophy. Yeah, sure. I would, all the it money. tastes like uh, you put honey all over a lawnmawn and just lick the lawnmower, oh, which I, I enjoy. I do. I do, too. Uh, I nothing better than that, a fresh cut That lawn. fucking green antioxidant tea has got this special you green know what? Tea. You know what I'm obsessed with I haven't had in forever, so I'm not that obsessed with, so, so I'm just being dramatic, yeah. but I love wheatgrass shots. See, I that me too. I used to drink that shit all the time. Me too. Yeah. Remember all the kale shakes I used to make in spinach? Yes. That shit makes you feel good. Yeah. That's how I feel about this. It's just like, I, if it works, it works. Like, I was very careful. I was like, I've tried a lot of different shit, mm -hmm. and I just, I don't Dude, I used I to, I used to subscribe to this juice thing. I, I think it was like moon juice or whatever in Venice when I lived down oh, there. Oh, yeah. And they would drop fresh juice off every morning. It makes Here's the problem, though, dude. You can only drink so much juice. Because you put and they, when they when they drop four off a day, eventually your refrigerator is just full of green juice. Yeah. And you can only drink so many. And they go when they go bad. When the, that wheatgrass and awful. kale goes sour, it goes sour, Daddy. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you should do that much. I was doing that for a long time. I don't know if anything like that you do that much. I think meat and fruit. I can do that shit all day. Like a different fish, meat, all day. Fruit. Yeah. I feel. Great. I just do red meat. Yeah. Henry Rollins just drinks carrot juice. That's it. Yeah, that's weird. I love carrot juice. That's fine. A lot of sugar in it. Though. I'm gonna need some. Protein. I love yeah. carrot juice. I'm gonna juice. need protein. I'm gonna need a complete. Dude, protein. I like a nice carrot myself. I'm an oyster guy. I told you. I'm a shellfish guy. Yeah. Say, ever since I read about what shellfish does, Dom D'Agostino, I think he's this scientist at College, Florida College of Medicine. He was talking about how you, how much what you get from one fucking oyster. It's a it's a. Super I, I only like small oysters. Me too. I like them small. I like the creamy small ones. I don't want big. The flat. big ones. Ugh. It feels like someone spit a loogie. No, in your mouth. I will not eat those. It's disgusting. I eat the Kumamoto. I eat anything from the West Coast Me too. that's small, yeah, tight. The Kumamoto, the small, small delicious, and tight, tasty. And then I dip it has in the tight. vinegar. Oh, dude, I put vinegar, lemon. I gotta put hot shit on sauce. It. I gotta put shit horseradish. Yes. Otherwise, no, bro. No. Those big boys, we got to chew on. No, no, thank you. Dude, it's like just some like the East it's Coast, just like, dude. Those big thick oh. oysters, it just feels like someone just first of all busted a load yeah. right in your mouth. Just it, well, you just go, yeah. When you go to like Chesapeake Bay and they're like, we got these out of Maryland, out of the harbor. You can go fuck yourself. I know those boats, li, li, all their shit comes and out. The, of and then they take the knife and they're like cutting it. Ah, uh, it's like a big fish. slab of like. Snot. There you go with your shots, and people are like, uh, they mm, oh. like that with the juice. Fuck off. No, my my oysters have to be tight, clean, and small, small. You know what we? You know what we like? And discipline. We like twinks. We got. A little we like little twink oysters. Yeah. I want. I want. <laughs> we don't I like want the a, big bears. I want a pearly little back on them. A little yeah. pearly backs. A little round. I don't want to see his tummy. No. Ugh. 
I, I like my oysters like I like my men. Small and bottoms. You feel small me? The bottoms. bottom feeders. Small, smooth. Small, smooth, smooth. and plumpy. Yeah. Small. No hair. Smooth and meaty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, no, I don't like meaty. You like a little gymnast. You like a little gymnast guy. Sure. Little, little strong, clean. Mm-hmm. You Tiny, know what you like? Compact, you clean. like a fucking, you like that skater. Who was that skater we had a crush on for a long time with a tailpiece? A you skater? Remember? Olympic skater. skater. You and I. What, oh, we the dude. Okay, yeah. The ice skater. Oh, yeah. ice skater. Oh, um, he was a cutie with his hair all done up. Oh, it's, uh, it was a pippin, pop, pippin something. We had the nicest ass on the planet. Yeah, who's the? Di- no, yeah, that's that's, that's him. That's no, that's him up there in the green, far left, second row. Yeah, you damn right it is, <laughs> dude. You can pick him out. You picked him out in a in a hot. Yeah, dude. That's my boy. Bro, you picked him out. Adam, Adam Rippin. Rippin. I called him Pippin. Small, I that was a Pippin. small picture. And I know you were my like, man, There's bro. my boyfriend. I know my man. You saw his outline. <laughs> I know my man. He was like, that was like a Jordan sneaker outline. Yeah. And you were like, that's my boyfriend. I can spot that ass from that? a mile away. That's hilarious. He refused to meet with Mike Pence. Look at that ass, dog. No, no. And, and he's, a, he's a beautiful young Explosive. man. Explosive. Explosive, yeah. And disciplined. Sure. And disciplined. I don't know what he does now, but yeah, he's how I like my oysters. Yeah, you don't, as a skater, you have really one Jesus or two Christ. Olympics at the most, I guess. For sure. You don't have a whole lot else. He's a small guy. Is he a short? It looks like he's oh, short. Oh, they're tiny, man. yeah. Tiny, thin. There's oh, his man. Yeah. Oh, that's his man. He's dating a big old man. Don't like the suit. Dude, you, speaking of ice skaters, I'm going to Portland. You know who's from Portland? Can you guess? The Trailblazers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's from Portland? Uh, Think about ice give skater. me a hint. Yeah, the, uh, like oh. famous ice skater. Oh, Greg Lamont. No, no, he was no, no not because I'm not. Like, we joke about guys don't care about men ice skating, right? Because right. we don't no, care. No. Yeah, yeah. So it's so like women Apollo gymnastics. Ono. Apollo Ono. That's another guy. Okay, oh, you talking about a lady? Yes, because I don't care about male <laughs> skating because we just went over that, right? Okay, because we joke about it, but honestly, okay. So wait, there's a, it's a skater. Ice okay. skater. Okay, and he's a he's a woman. She's a woman. Here's the thing. You're older. Here's the thing. You're older. You keep saying skater, and I'm thinking of Nigel Houston, right? Like yeah. a skateboard. Yeah, yeah. Say yeah. ice skating. Ice skating. Or I'm gonna rip your Invisalign's out, right? And I need some. You do need some. Ice skater. Ice skater. Female. Woman. Woman. Very famous. Tara Lipsky. Nope. Michelle. Ono. Oh, nope. Come on, dude. Um, I'd say the most famous one. Would also some would say the most famous. Hey, would also whoop your ass, beat me up. Ha- had her own motion picture. Well, ice skater, little white trashy. Some might oh, say, not me. Oh, and I knew her, and I knew her. We'll uh, say not it Nancy is. Kerrigan, but um, the one who beat but, her ass. Yes, but um, and I, 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 I had a couple conversations with her. Tanya Harding. Tanya Harding. And I had a couple conversations with her. Lives in Oregon. Hunts her own food. She's from Portland. In a cabin. Yep. And uh, yeah, she's a tough one. She's a tough one. Tough lady, we grew up to do, tough too. We used to do World's Dumbest together. So I would see her there and we'd talk and stuff. And how, how was she in person? She she grew up a rough lifestyle. Yeah, man. she was. Her she mom was, was vile. She was started when she was four. She was like a savant ice skating. Yeah. It was expensive. So the teacher funded it all. It was yeah. like, oh, I got her. She, and was, like, a, she, was, a, she was a defeated yeah. person at that point. I think it was very hard for her. Have you seen the movie? And I was I, nice to I, her. I, I, I Tanya? Tanya. Fantastic. Yeah. So good. I mean, how long were we going to pretend <laughs> that, <laughs> hey, I know it's Hollywood. Yeah. Could you have cast somebody else besides fucking Margot <laughs> Robbie she as Tanya Harding? I Hardy? gotta tell you, she kind of pulled it off. She almost pulled it off. Who right? did? Margot Robbie. Well, no, she's good. Margot Robbie can't miss. She did great. But look does she look like Tanya Harden? Right there, she looks crazy. But how long were we pretend? Her hair. Go, hey, no, do me a favor. Go down the one where they're side by side at the red carpet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well. Might as well have a lizard play Tanya Harding. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With makeup. Well, yeah. Come on, Doc. Tanya's older, and, and well, Margot Robbie's the most beautiful woman in the world. I told you, saw in person, know it. And, and uh, well, also, she's insanely talented. That's the other problem. She's stupid. Oh yeah, those look exactly the same. That's cool. It's tough. Though. Way to it's go, tough. Hollywood. It's tough. You know, that looks exactly the same. Way to go, Hollywood. Yeah, yep. but she still pulled it off, right? I Did mean, she? I guess. Now, now, um, Tanya Harding did a boxing match with somebody and mm-hmm. beat the fucking shit out of that gal, and I could have told you how that was going to go. Well, she grew up rough, dude. Like That's poor, right. rough. That's right. So if you're gonna she, fight, she grew an up Olympic being athlete, hit by men. Her her dad, her fr- or her dad left her, but uh, her all her boyfriends that she had, you yeah. know. 
Now, have, have you ever seen the 30 for 30 on Tanya Hara on ESPN? It will break your heart, dude. I believe. She grew up it. so rough. I believe it, man. It's not. And then she, and then you know, I'm not making fun of her, but also like she wasn't the prettiest girl. Right. And in figure skate, that's why like Nancy Kerrigan, these other girls, yes. like they got all the promotion. Tanya and Harden. Attention. Tanya Harden did the first. What was it? Three six or some shit like that. And she's like, "Look at me, dude. Like I know, but your face. It, that is so fucking true. It's not that cool, is man. So true. And it starts. But also. Part of the business, it, it right? It starts when you're a little girl, though. It's It really does. It starts, you know, when you're not an attractive child, or, or let's just say- you, Men or women. Yes, but especially women, right? So especially girls who are in that world where beauty, makeup, hair, you're a sky skater, it's a hell of a, you know, it's very hard. I mean, you're basically a Victoria's Secret model on skates. And I think, I think a lot of the judges are looking at all of that stuff. Oh, 100%. Same thing. It's like American Idol too, man. You look, yeah. and they're the most talented person usually doesn't win. It's usually the the all American like country boy or country girl wins. And like, hold up, I know this person's whatever four hundred pounds. That's the better singer. Yes. America's like, yeah, and also American Idol's like, yeah, but we can make money off this one. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, well, it's not a it's not a competition then. No. Right. No. And that's exactly what it is. And it must be fucking hard. If or you're- I'll tell you right now, if I had a little girl and I want a little girl so bad. And she came out with just a fucking beak. Hmm. You'd have to do something. Like when she's eighteen, like we can fix this. We can fix this. You, leave, you, leave, you leave it up to them. You leave oh it yeah, up to them. You know. And, but if she was like, "Dad, this beak is causing so many issues." Yeah, I'd be like, "Well, stick a little bit off the top." You know what? Let's ask the doctor. <laughs> you can go two for one because Daddy that's needs it too. Let's go two for one because I can't one. breathe and I'd like a little off the top. A little, a little off the top. You <laughs> see, get, see you if that Beverly Hills doctor will nose. two for one. Your original nose. Yeah. Yeah. Even smaller though. You know. Yeah. Well, there are certain things that me Ray some Lotus girls <laughs> have and don't have, and then I think beauty is a hard thing, man. It's a, that's the one thing I kind of appreciate about the woke movement with like fat acceptance. Take it easy now. Shaming. Take it easy now. No, no, no. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hold on. Take no, it easy now. I am not a friend of the woke movement in a lot of ways because I think it's a lie, but but I do think that like when you put pressure, when it's acceptable to make fun of somebody for being not as pretty conventionally pretty it fucks their life up agree yeah they should not be made fun of yeah now should they have contracts at victoria's secret here's what i think about that here's what i think if the marketplace will buy your product because you are advertising to a certain segment of the population that is overweight and if that's a good business decision you guys go ahead if si thinks that's a good idea go ahead it, it, so me, how many how many magazines are you selling? I just want to know. I bet not many. But I, I bet you they sold more when they had the dime, like like fucking uh, Tyra Banks on there in her prime. Or uh, or, just, or as you know, we're talking about it, and we've been talking about it for a while, and it created. That doesn't mean it sells magazines, but also you yeah. look at Abercrombie, who got you know destroyed. But when they started, they didn't even offer bigger sizes. No, and they were the number one company in America. Yeah. And then now they're more woke, which they should be, because what they were doing was. Yep horrible yeah kind of funny but also horrible mm-hmm. and now that they're more woke you know they're not nowhere near what their sales used to be uh i agree i agree because let's be honest the, they're I, selling a dream that's not possible well the, 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 the debate and i think it's not even a debate is there is a standard of beauty that seems to transcend culture and time in a lot of ways like you know when you see an impossibly beautiful woman okay like jennifer Connolly when she was young uh who, who are you talking about? The woman you saw in person, Margot Robbie or any... Uh, but there are some women like that will knock your fucking dick into the dirt. You see them and you just go, what the fuck is going on? I think it was the one, girl who was in Pearl Harbor. Who'd you see in person? She's from England. Oh, uh, Kate Beckinsale. R- when you see someone like that... Bro, I thought it was an angel. I know that. <laughs> I was at an see- Oscar party. I thought it was an angel strolling through the party. I was like, I'm yeah. not even drunk. Cindy dude. Crawford, when she was younger, yeah. okay? Oh. I saw her in New York. You can forget it. I don't give a fuck where you're from. Everyone recognizes. They go, I don't Africa. I don't care where you're at. You go, holy fuck. There, there was this Ethiopian woman when I was in Saudi Arabia. I was a young. I was the first time I realized what true beauty was. This Ethiopian woman in Saudi Arabia. She comes in, and she was friends with a woman who was working there. And she was even as a young girl. I looked at my mother. I go, mommy, she's mommy. What, what's going on here? Like I couldn't. I could, my said, mother said, said I was. Mommy? I was fucking. <laughs> How old were you? Eleven or twelve. My mother You're said 27? you didn't take your eyes off her. <laughs> mommy, mommy, no one mommy. could. Yeah, she's mommy. gorgeous. I call my mom. I call. I still call. You her still mom. call her mommy. I know it drives me nuts. I call my mom. I don't. I say big Mike to my dad because I can't call him daddy. It's just way too embarrassing. Yeah, daddy's 
but I never called them mom or dad. I called them mommy and daddy. So all my girlfriends would laugh so hard. I'd be in college going, mommy, can you tell me? <laughs> no, I laugh too because uh, when I when I would come to your sister's house when she had those barbecues, yeah, she'd be like, Brian, uh, did you talk to mommy I'd be like, or daddy? Yeah. No, she'd go, uh, mommy said, I'm like, hey, you guys are 50. Yeah. <laughs> Quit saying that, man. Yeah, yeah. No, my, my mommy said that we should get the casserole. I'm like, whoa, yeah. Isn't that guys. It's so embarrassing. That's kind of cute. And this is what I would do in, in public. I'd go, Ma, Ma, Ma. <laughs> so mortifying. But it's more embarrassing to call her mom because I've never called her mom, so I didn't know how to do it. So now <laughs> I call her, I, I call him Big Mike. When, when pops, my, my, my kids are young, so they call me daddy, it's cute. Or they call me papa, <clears throat> which is super cute. When they say daddy, you know, they're young, so you're, it's good. Yeah. When they're about 10 or 12, they like, quit the daddy. Thing, my, right? my kids call me dad. That's it. Dad. dad. My, my daughter calls me father when she's being cheeky. Father? father in public. Father. Father. <laughs> I'm like, all right. But, um, Dude, it's funny. Uh, and, you know, I grew up with, I don't know how you do it. I grew up with, you know, my, my mom's side's from England. So I basically, they're, they're like the fucking Osbournes. They cussed nonstop. Yeah. I grew up around working them. class so, English. Yeah. Working smoking, class English. Smoking, cussing. It's rough, just what we did. Drinking, yeah. People. Everyone had a nickname, like joking, clown each other. I always forget that you're actually English. Yeah, like yeah. Your mother is actually oh, yeah, English. Yeah. Yeah. yeah her, her sisters have accents, dude. Yeah. 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 So I grew up with that culture, like cussing, not so cussing really didn't have power. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't like a forbidden thing. No. So I didn't really cuss. I, like sometimes I would around my friends, but I knew not to do around my teachers. So even with my kids, same philosophy. I mean, we're not cussing up a storm like I grew up with, but the, you know, Tiger knows not to do it around his teachers. So do it around his friends, maybe I assume. Hmm. But like the, we on Sunday, we're driving to uh, to the car show. We go every Sunday, and on the Bronco, the 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 chair that because it's a two seater, so I gotta pull the chair back so he can jump out. Hmm. And we get there, I'm, I'm trying to pull the chair back. And I can't get it. So then I, I go over to grab boss. I'm like, T, just come out this side. And he's like, no, I got it. And he's getting it. And he must have heard me say it like, whatever, two Sundays ago. It's crazy how they remember shit. And he's doing it. And what work? He goes, this piece of shit. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Bubba. I go, whoa, Bubba. Piece of shit. This it's is a so Bronco, funny. dude. So and then funny. he goes, it's a Ford, dad. I'm like, you heard me say that. <laughs> Fords are cool, man. You're getting all this from me. My son did that too. His sister, my son was just fucking seven and she would just kept bugging him. And he goes, shut the fuck up. It's hilarious when laughing, they cuss. So like, Especially oh, with their timing. It's hilarious oh, when know. they cuss. I know. Piece of shit. I'm Piece like, whoa, shit. dude. <laughs> and he said exactly how I did. I'm like, whoa, dude. I love it. Come on. I go, so it's not a piece of shit. He goes, it's a Ford. I'm like, hey, dude. Yeah. Well, be cool, man. Cause oh, you have no, he doesn't know, yeah. you know, he knows, he doesn't know the difference between real, he knows cars, but like to him, like cars are cars. He doesn't yeah. know money. And so Lambo, Ford, it's all the same to him. Lamborghini, Ford, Ferrari. But it, he's like, it's a Ford dad. I'm like, dude, I said that the other day. Cause someone said, how's this drive? I go, it's a Ford, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, so I he's just picking shit. up all my stuff, but he doesn't know the context. That shit. It's, it's so funny. It's so great. It's so cute it, when they do so it. It's so fucking Piece cute. of shit. How old your boy's five now? Six. Ah. Bossy's too. It's such a good age. Yeah, man. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, your mom Friday. comes from that that English working class. That that uh, that's almost like the Tyson Fury. It's like that's a rough area. Uh, yeah, was she from Manchester? This, where is she from? The north? No, uh, no, it'd be the south. So it's Stroud. So it's like an yeah. hour uh, south from London. Okay. Like we're, yeah, working class, small. Well, town. The, those working class towns, and you go up to you know the the, the, the north of England. The, Tough people. I mean, dude, they smoked like chimneys. The shit, dude, my grandpa had lung cancer from smoking. They said, if you keep smoking, it's going to cut this cancer. It, you're going to die even and faster. he was like, yeah, whatever. Bro, he had o an oxygen tank, would take it off smoke. Mm -hmm. And then they told my grandma, you got to stop smoking too because sick and then smoke. Chimney in there. I grew yeah. up just chimney, chimney. Yeah. Yeah. They loved it, man. It's people just what they did. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, That's you watch like the Royals. It's like everyone's back. Everybody smoked. Yes. It's just what the fuck they did. Yes. They didn't realize, you know. Well, they did, but it's like they did. They but they didn't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like well, they the, didn't realize the, the how Brits, the Irish. I mean, the, the the smoking and the whiskey, the the hard alcohol. It's not like Mediterranean wine. It's like I'm gonna fucking Winston Churchill, who lived till he was 91, always had a cigar in his mouth, and always historians drinking. said he probably always had some alcohol in his system. Always beast. I've been around those Brits where you, they'll they'll like they'll be like slow gin. It's 8 a.m. Just we're going hunting. We got to do a shot of slow gin, and then they just it just keeps, you know. I, I I don't have that. I don't have that chemistry. No, I can't do it. You can do it. Oh yeah, 
You can do it and you'd be fine. I, if I drink, I'm drinking right now. I couldn't wait to get this dude to drink. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. no, you're an alcoholic. Problem, yeah, yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. Problem. And but you're a functioning alcoholic and 100 high function alcoholic. Uh huh. Yeah. Did work out though before you drank. Because. I did work out and my back is super toasty because me and Mark didn't have a lot of time. Oh. So I go, all right, just set the timer for 10 minutes and we'll just do 60 sets of 315, like 60 reps. Yeah. So oh. I go six, he goes six. Hold so on, we, we got to do 60. Benching? No, deadlift, 315. <clears throat> oh, Which boy. is sub, like, that's like, you know. And you didn't really have time to warm up. We didn't warm up at all. The first <laughs> set was 315. Yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, it gets your heart rate up, and yes, you're like, by the end of it, you're going to really be feeling it. Yeah. It's good when you're sh short and, on but time. But 315's nothing for you guys. I mean, it's, it's light. Towards yeah, the end, it got a little dicey. First set, you're like, this is easy. Tenth set, you're like, oh, my body's... Once you're halfway, you're like, yeah. Ooh. Because you really get six. like Ten sets You get six. like 35 really seconds rest. If you're going on the minute, yeah. like we're, we're going off... Uh, I would say, well, as you're working, you get about 30 seconds of rest. Yeah. So think about it. Jesus Christ. Ten sets of six with 30 seconds rest. That's very hard. You're sweating. Are you... Is that it for you today? That's all you'll do? I worked out at six i did chest this morning with uh a client of mine you think you're better than me out. mark <laughs> no no take it easy dude <laughs> no, six I, think I think you're fucking cool <laughs> dude six take it easy dude take it easy it's all right dude, dude it's all right and you're fucking, dude, believe me i wasn't dude, happy about it waking up fucking like, better than me like dude, would trainer. you get up at five dude, he's a trainer he's a trainer yes um so no i mean i'd like <laughs> you couldn't be happier with your tits right now and you couldn't like, I'm be happy the result like yes what what it does do is like if i keep doing that i hate it when i'm doing because like um oh my god i want to sleep in two more hours but then like at you're the end so of the week done. when you're like oh, i'm so busy and i bit like you almost forget that you did it yeah you know what i mean and you're like yeah. oh right i'm still in shape even though i felt stressed out and yeah get up early over eight and key you know, to everything dude. yes key to everything uh, so. mark look at my <laughs> now i'm a coat hanger yeah i'm not a natural Okay. Mesomorph the way you guys are. A couple mesomorphs uh -huh. in his. I'm an ectomorph. Mm -hmm. A couple mesomorphs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, it, just naturally, I'm not an endomorph. Nope. You're I'll built, use, you're I'll built like an science. ant. You're built I'm, like an ant. Yeah. I'm built like. Well, I got my. I got the legs of a frog. I got a bit of a booty on me. We're doing mm -hmm. all right there. No, you're, you're built like the WB frog. Okay. <laughs> That's probably true. But Bring that up, Jen. Just don't uh, have uh, the natural. Uh -huh. Hard for me to put on muscle. Yeah, Mark. Why you got you a year. To? You got uh -huh. a year. Yeah. You can do whatever you want to me. Uh huh. You can. I'll, I'll take whatever you put. That's in my Brian's name. body and, right there. But you, but is the is the objective is. aesthetics? Do you just want to look? Yeah, as that's, good all as okay. I, that's all we want. Okay, that's all we want. I'm not. You want me to take it from here, Mark? Steroids. <laughs> no, no, I know Every that. Year, steroids. No, we know At that. Your age? No, Correct. I know that. We know we have well, to do steroids. Yeah. There's not a train on this earth who's going to put no, muscle. I, I work out every day, but then nothing's going to. They look exactly the same. Yeah, depending on what side effects you'd want to avoid. Um, well, I don't want to die, and I don't no, want my no. heart oh, to get No, up. you can take so many steroids before you die. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. insane. Yeah, <laughs> like people have this notion of like. Well, I'd like to. Know. I'd like to not have it impact my longevity ultimately. Like, okay. Well, there's still a lot you can take. Cause like, I like his uh, face get a little bloated just for my own sake. <laughs> just a little, a little water retention. Oh, we face. can do that. Yeah, we can bloat you up a little right, bit. And that's one of the side effects. Things. It's like really steroids are all about like what side effects do you want to avoid. You I'm know. losing even more hair, right? Okay, if you want to say fuck, 100%. that's like one route. You go, do you want to fuck the hair or not? You know what I mean? Because because things like taking, for example, a nandrolone only cycle is one of the most hair safe things you can do. The conventional wisdom is you don't take nandrolone without testosterone because you needed to convert to you know. There's this science and theory behind it, but turns out there are certain more safe, like hair safe steroids than even testosterone you can take testosterone and take finasteride with it which blocks the dhd which I conversion would, which i would you can so there's many things you can take to mitigate back, hair loss but or, or just say fuck all that noise and get a yeah. wig <laughs> and then just go it nuts. makes me angry yeah. when you talk about that no but if you're going with steroids you don't have to worry about the hair yeah. i'm never wearing a fucking wig yeah right? you well, and my mother just just as far as training <laughs> the hacks that i would recommend to guys um to most guys if you build up your your shoulders to an insane mm -hmm. degree and like kind of your upper back and upper chest, yeah. those are the so things that you like. When you look at the silhouette, yeah, you go, you want to have wide lats, broad shoulders, and big upper chest. So I do like high incline yeah, big stuff for <laughs> like yeah. that machine at zoo incline. that's like really like gets you up high here. High incline, yeah. Like, because most guys, most guys do on a regular incline, you're still not quite hitting this like real upper fiber that connects to your shoulder. Fiber. Gotta hit the Then do fiber. like Get your notebook lateral out, raises right? all the time. So you're building up mm -hmm. this part because yeah. that's what like makes you even two inches this way. Think yeah. about how dramatic that would it's look. It's pretty dramatic. You know? Yeah. And, and you could put two inches on my shoulder. Absolutely yeah. not. And then, like, as you, as you, if <laughs> you lost, if you think about this, if you put an I'm inch, not fucking talking to you. <laughs> I'm more of a if realist. If you took a little bit of fat off your stomach and added a little bit to your, it's like, for every inch wider you get, and, and See, smaller I look, you get in your waist. But I actually want to look, um, 
I don't care about that V. I want to look thicker. I want to just look stronger. Okay, so if you wanted to look thick, thick. talking it's Gold's like, Gym stack here. <laughs> Deca, Winstrom. Oh, yeah. You could take, like, the upper limit of what you could do as far as Deca and still be safe, because it's like, look, we've talked about, like, trend and stuff like that. It's just that I took a bunch of trend not too long ago, and the real effect is, like, you can't work out as hard. You're almost getting like sick because of the cardiovascular effects. Really? You know, I was taking 100 milligrams of trend a day. It just I talked about this in my podcast as like an experiment. And like you get bigger and stronger really quickly, but you're like in the gym, like, oh, I feel like shit. Like if we did those deadlifts today, like I would have been like, oh my God, like you almost get ill. So it's wow. not fun. All right, so, I, that. so yeah. I don't want any of that shit. Right, because okay. it increases your blood yeah, pressure. I got a year. Yeah. Give me the yeah. fucking cocktail. Hey, yeah. and give me the diet. AB, here's yeah. what we can do for you. What? Nothing. No, 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 come on. Test, honestly, this the most old school cycle you can do is almost test deck a D-ball. Those are fantastic for putting what's on. What's D-ball? Diana ball, which is a, it's a oral derivative of Chin's testosterone. Uh, you know, 17. <laughs> what about, Chin what about, is writing is this it, down. Is that, uh, what's what's Chin is writing this Anavar is a DHT, down. a dihydrotestosterone derivative. That's great. It's for like, it's a very mild side effect it a little less hair safe but it's a cosmetic effect like think zach efron and baywatch people look at him and go like he's on anivar if you're really lean it makes you look, you look harder and kind of like not brad pitt and fight club that's like the anivar winstrol look it is if you were to take something like that, that yeah right? that was, sponsor, that was sponsored that. by well, anivar he's 147 pounds in that <laughs> come on yeah, he talks so, yeah, about it. There are, there is steroids like what? Edward Norton was one seventy. Halo test and You know There's what? Look at how thin he is there. Yeah, because everyone like I was reading this thing on bodybuilding.com. Was a huge fan of bodybuilding.com back in the day, and they're like, everyone goes, I want to look like Brad Pitt from Fight Club. Yeah. And then Brad Pitt came out in interviews. He's like, dude, I was like starving myself. I was one hundred and forty-seven something pounds. That's hilarious. yeah. The real thing I see is just a. He's extremely lean. How in his good waist, is he looking? Fucking Troy, and he has very broad shoulders. Looking at Troy, you know. Uh, and Troy, mm. he looks like he gained at least 15 pounds of muscle. Mm. Mm. Now that, mm. that's least. not natty. No, 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 no. You would assume not because that's his baseline. You got to realize like Brad Pitt is not a naturally big guy. Like well, in, when you in see him Delman in the show, and Louise, he is so see, skinny. Right. So that's what that would, and a lot of actors are like that where like he's, he's, his face almost looks like he'd have a bigger body and then he's really thin. Yeah. So for a guy who's very naturally thinned up to look like he does in Troy. Uh, dude, his body won't hands. quit and, uh, <laughs> and, um, uh, once, once upon a time in Hollywood, the his body, is. body for days. Yeah. Yeah. So you see how, like, He's again, lean. naturally, naturally act lean, ectomorphic. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm into it, man. That's that's <laughs> my body. I'm an ectomorphic. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. But if you just wanted no, to put on muscle, there's mean, no, some. No, no, no. You don't look like him. High dose. <laughs> when I was younger, I had that body. And Diana was, Ball is actually, actually the more uh, muscular in the arms. The American response Shut to Turinabol, which was the USSR steroid, the only steroid that was made without a pharmaceutical purpose. Yeah, like, because everything else is like Anavar is for muscle wasting or whatever. If you have AIDS, for horses. they're like Turinabol is like the only thing that was produced in mass by like you know a sort of like government or, or like the, the the medical industry in that country, but it was just for performance enhancement. So all these like the East Germans and the Russians, oh, yeah. Turinabol. Hey Mark, Diana Balls are doing the steroids, huh? <laughs> well, they make they make. I've been, you got to understand. I've been a steroid geek since like the late nineties. Maybe let's take a little break from yeah. we're some chatty Cathy's today, dude. Yeah. Now, where can I ask you a question? I'm busy and yeah. I like to eat my meat, but I sometimes just cooking vegetables, doing vegetables, and like getting my phytonutrients, dude. You got to do probiotics, it. You got to do it. My multivitamin. I don't want to do that. Is there anything you? I'll can tell you where I'm not doing it in Portland next week. Oh, you're not doing it no, in Portland. I mean donuts at Voodoo's because I'm on tour in Portland, That's fine. Oregon next week. That's, That's next Thursday, Friday, that Saturday. Makes sense. Portland Helium. Portland's going to be a good come time. get some, and then but after that, that, that's that's next Thursday, Friday, Saturday in okay. Portland, Oregon. Because this Thursday, this Friday, Saturday, I'm in Richmond, Virginia. That's at the right, Funny Bone. dude, Virginia. The next Friday, Saturday, I'm in Omaha, Nebraska at the Funny Bone, June 10th and 11th. Yeah, dude. So where are you? Yeah, so I go Portland next week. Yeah. That is uh, June 9th through the 11th. I'm in Portland at sure. the Helium. And then after that, the week after, I'm in San Francisco Ooh, at Cobbs. the Cobbs Comedy Club, Ooh. Friday, Saturday only. Mm. And after that, Fort Wayne, Indiana, New July club, 14th and 16th. Club. Great club. And then I end the, well, still part of the summer Trash Panda Tour, whole new hour, uh, July 21st through the 23rd, San Diego, Baltimore, August 4th through the 6th. But Portland, you're up next week. But B, 
One thing I will have on the road with me is my greens. You got to have your greens. Got to have your greens, now, dude. You, so wait, you're talking about you You pack a bunch of celery and spinach and just to, just have a bushel of greens? No, bro, oh, dude. Oh. I have a pack, a, one little scoop of AG1 by Athletic Greens. Uh, all right, dude, you're talking about all the daily nutrition you need. Well, it's right? superfoods. It's superfoods. Oh, dude, it contains 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source ingredients, yep. including a multivitamin, multi-mineral probiotics, green superfood blend. It's delicious, It's also man. bioavailable. It's, it's easier on your stomach. You take a bunch of pills sometimes, it can really mess with your really stomach. Really mess you up, man. Yeah. Re do, do join the movement of athletes, moms, podcasters, comics, rookies, first timers, aunts, uncles, grandmas, stepmoms, whoever you the are. The whole world. Dude, to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you immune supporting free one year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs. Because you can't get in the sun all the time. No, dude, with your first purchase, if you visit athleticgreens.com slash fighter today, again, Go to athleticgreens.com slash fighter to take control of your health and give AG1 a try. Uh, B, you yeah. know I like my kicks, dog. Yeah, but you, how do you keep them clean? Dude, I'm glad how you How do you keep them clean? Because I'm always scuffing my shoes. Bro, up. I worked out on these today. Do those, it look like I'm working out on them? Did a unicorn poo those out? Dude, you How would, do you keep them so shiny and beautiful? I'm so glad you asked. I use Rejuvenator. What? That's Rejuvenator. Dude, oh, they have over 2 million satisfied customers, a 4.6. Five star average reviews. Wow. Dude, Rejuvenator offers a variety of cleaning products to keep your kicks clean, man. All the kicks you see, I post every day, uh, Thick Boy Studio Kicks. Every single day, they're looking fresh. They're Do they have a YouTube clean. channel? Is it youtube.com slash Rejuvenator, R E Shoe, V N 8, the number 8 R? Yeah. Rejuvenator? Dude. Dude, okay. if you or someone you know appreciates a nice, clean kick, Rejuvenator is a must-have. For a limited time, Rejuvenator is offering you guys, the Finally Kid Army, all you guys, you get 15% off the most effective shoe care line available. All you need to do is visit Rejuvenator.com slash fighter, and you will save right at checkout 15%. That is R-E-S-H-O-E-V-N-8-R.com slash fighter. 15% off Rejuvenator dot com slash fighter so impressive because i thought you were 100 percent natural a lot of people do yeah mark you should write a book steroids for dummies yeah and that'd um, be sick huh yeah yeah be good. i don't think they have that Because like when bodies. i was a kid it was like just hearsay and then yeah, bodybuilding then right? bodybuilding.com no what then bodybuilding.com popped up and there was actual guys like running cycles but they were sh so over the top, you're like, oh, I'm not doing all that shit. Yeah. But now there's so much like information on steroids. If you changed. really want to do it, yeah. there's actual information like plates more dates, dude, yeah. to help you out. What's his name? For the average guy, uh, Derek from more plates more yeah, dates. Yeah, he's great. Let's he knows get his him shit. on the show, huh? He knows his <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. And from a chemist Wicked perspective. Wicked smart. I've had people tell me that more plates, what's it? Yeah. He uh, plates so more dates. He's super smart. Yeah, like, I've yeah, heard that. I've heard smart. that people yeah. have said to me that that guy knows his shit. Is he a doctor? I would say that, and these three guys have a podcast together that do sometimes. Vigorous Steve, Leo Longevity, and uh, More Plates, More Dates. It's six they, hours long, though, yeah? <laughs> correct. <laughs> Too long, like, though, fellas. You know this, I'm right? I'm saying if you, want, I like if it. you want to hit the trifecta of like PEDs, any sort of hair stuff, any sort of like biohacking, which Leo and Longevity specializes in, and he's a fan of you two guys. I want to connect Let's get him all. on the podcast. Hey. Oh, dude. He, he, he's, he's, More hair. Oh, yeah. No, he has like his, his level of self-taught information, all of them, but like Leo, like, yeah. You're like with like nicotine, like he'll like drop these videos on like the cholinergic system. It's like you're a professor. You feel I like you're getting a lecture like from a oh, if you can you know, get like information, that. it's from him. They oh, know yeah. more than doctors because they go down that correct. Fucking well, route. They've also tested yeah, on but, themselves too. Like they're yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Well, they, they said that they said that like bodybuilders, like the bodybuilder community, they were the ones who came up with a lot of the. Um, uh, and also the, the Russian sports community, they came up with a lot of like nutrition, glycemic yeah. index, steroids. I mean, they know nerds. more about not everyone, else. but this certain percentage. It's like you meet somebody. They're like, very oh, you're, smart. You're just very a smart. muscular. They're dork. chemists, basically. Yeah. Okay, they're yeah. chemists. There's some of them, but then there's some of them that they're running so much gear. Like if you watch the Ronnie Coleman documentary, he doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, he's, he's like, like he's eating chicken, yeah. and he's like, you know, I like to eat lean here, but he's putting so much barbecue sauce on. You're like, dude, that's a hundred grams of sugar. Yeah. but he's running so much gear, it doesn't matter. That's and his, his body's are, just when he was natural and claims to me, and you're like, I believe it. Like, just the most insane genetics you've ever yeah. seen. Hey, can you because you was a cop, right, in Texas? Simple. Can you imagine him pulled over for running from Ronnie yeah. Coleman as a cop? And his outfit, he looked ridiculous, right? He looked ridiculous. Is, did you think and you have thing? steroids, and he's like, I'm gonna have to put your way. You're like, <laughs> are you shitting me? Are you shitting me, dude? Look at him. You're running the same shit. Look at him. Imagine him oh, pulling my you over. God. 
He's so awesome. And that's, have you guys ever discussed that chef, the, the White House chef with the big arms, who's about that size? And he, was, and he goes like, I'm all natty. And it's there's like, a White House chef this size? And he said, I mean, he, yes. Look him up. Uh, chef House Nash, chef. I think his name is. He looks Dude, so imagine much, him I mean, pulled over by him for <laughs> substance, like steroids. Yeah. I love it. And he's like, I'm going to have to put you it in a slammer. Andrew, Andre Rush. Yeah. Love these guys. Um, and he's so, I mean, his arms look like 25 inches legit. Like, What's he make? Um, and that guy says, yeah. I'm all natural. He's um, awesome. Yeah. That guy's is, it, is that possible that he could be all natural? It's uh, To like, be fair, I know, I know guys like Tim Tebow, like Joe Klopfenstein. Yeah. I'm telling you, dude, they're fucking Jacked. freaks. Freaks. Some guys, yeah. Like, I specifically with the fair. arms, his arms are so big, but like, some guys he's not like lean know, from certain parts of the world have really big arms and uh lean. like look at look at arm. francis Ngano. right like just jacked to the gills yeah. if i had to guess though i would say he look is at alistair overing right just kidding no well, like he might Uber be very, yes. he might just be really thick but yeah yeah but hey let's not wear that watch though huh right i don't mind it i'm not afraid of it so he has an incentive like he's a public figure Going like, I don't want to, like, if oh, it gets gotcha, out, you know gotcha, what I mean? You gotcha, always go, what's yeah. their incentive gotcha. to lie? Yeah. These days, you have an incentive to, like, be open and you could start a YouTube channel and give information. Back in the day, they'd be like, hey, you're pushing our creatine. Don't say anything about steroids. Yeah, and you had to, like, lie about it. I loved you right away because, and I remember Brendan told the story about you. He was like, he was like, uh, some guy said, was making fun of your technique or your... And Undead something, and, and, yeah. and you were like, and you were like, hey, and you said, hey, from one juice head to another. Yeah. That's, a, that's a weird, that's <laughs> yeah. a weird flex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was great. No, I, I know. Like, it's like, hey, dude, is... dude, dude, like, yeah. But, but yeah, it really takes some of that angle that people love to do. They, it's like one of the primary things. You, it's like, yeah, I am. Would Wanna you? Talk are about you it? always going to be on it? Do you think? Um, at least a maintenance dose of testosterone, like a, which I would consider like a hundred to two hundred milligrams. There's a week. no going back from Mark. And um, now you could, like, you could do HC, like, it's just, but why would you want to? Testosterone is one of the safest things you can put in your body. Yeah. You know, I gotta get, I gotta get busy with You're never doing it, but Chin, Chin, I have faith in. Chin, I think, is gonna do it. I'm already looking the process of trying to do it. I think it would be great for you. Like, when you say it, for example, when I think about you performing, I go, like, does this person wanna add 10 pounds of muscle and, like, and recalibrate, like, how their body moves on stage? That's always for me. That would yeah. be a question if I were you, because I personally think it's like, great, oh, do I want but... more energy and feel better? If you don't, <laughs> yeah. that's fine. Yeah, I feel <laughs> no, you don't. Good. I, I know, but imagine you felt even yeah. better. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't, I, I see. That's... I get. I, we go back to me worrying about. I've been given this gift of energy, right? I've been given this gift. Yeah, yeah. you're Peter Pan. You know what I mean? And I just it's slowing down a little bit, though. Yeah, a little bit, a huh? little bit, a uh-huh. little bit. Little I bit. get tired now. I know. I was on stage for you know a seven long hours. Time. Yeah, and I and I'm just a little tired after that. I work out. But, now imagine yeah. if you weren't tired. But you're also like yeah. grabbing pythons and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If Daddy gets eight and a half hours of sleep, eight hours of sleep, I'm fucking good. I know, yeah. but now imagine if you're better. Yeah. And, and you got a proportion as a big thing too, because it's like going like, oh, this person drinks and this person drinks. Well, that person has a couple shots every Saturday night and this person has 15 beers a day. because yeah, See, I don't drink. That's well, the other thing, it, much. Right. No, and that's his, his is a reference, this yeah? Is, yeah, I'm just making an analogy though to going 150 milligrams of test per Brian, week versus a bodybuilder. A body Brian, well, listen, I have a few. <laughs> gla- no, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> and that is great for longevity. It's like, yeah, man, you got that working for you because, like, whole literal, you know, <laughs> whole literal bry. Yeah, because, the thing about me, Mark, is you know, I have a glass of wine, but not full. You know, when I drink wine, I Mark's like, no, it's just he's using a, it's a reference, example. not a fuck. But that is good because, yes, that would it could disturb your natural test if you were drinking alcohol. I'm just saying proportionally. Hey, when you see a pro bodybuilder on stage, you're, so you're taking TRT, 150 milligrams a week. He's starting with 3,000 milligrams of one ester of test and then adding test suspension mm-hmm. on that, probably another 1,000 milligrams a week, and then taking Mastron and Equipose. Yeah, those taking, guys like, aren't the pinnacle of like, health. Everyone taking, thinks they are. Their body is a nightmare. a hundred times more than you. So, like, <laughs> you know, if you're guy. worried or people go like, oh, I don't, it's steroids. It is, but it's like, it's like a fucking pebble versus a boulder, you know? Yeah, of course. Do you, do you ever have that with your girl? You're going to fight? She gets pissed at you? Because, like, <clears throat> if it was you and me, <laughs> you know, Tiger has his uh, kindergarten graduation on Friday, so he needs an outfit. So I, I I had an idea what I want him to wear. I want him this little button-up. This shirt's, you know, he's fucking six. He's a big six-year-old, but the shirt's this fucking big. Yeah. So it, it's in the bag, and it, late at night, uh, you know, I see it on the counter. I'm like, oh, I get it out. And uh, I'm like, oh, I think this looks sweet. She goes, she bought it that day. 
she, and I, I go, oh, I, th- I take it out, it's soft. I'm like, oh, I think this will look sweet. And she's like, where'd you get that? Where'd you buy that? I'm like, what? She's like, that's yours? I'm like, no, it's not mine. No, it's not. <laughs> it's Tiger's, right? Because yeah. you bought it. Yeah. <laughs> Today. <laughs> It's for a six-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the size of she goes. You're an asshole. Yeah. But it's this big, right? No, no, no. no. So <laughs> it's so, so triggering I to me. It. I go, well, no, well, no, it's not. But you know, and I'll go. You know, it's not mine, right? Because yeah. let me hold the shirt up because you could see it, right? Look, like this for a six-year-old. Yeah. I'm two hundred forty something pounds. Yeah. I got. I'm called, not going to wear this. Yeah. I got called an <laughs> asshole. Oh, twice you called an asshole yesterday because twice a week because I was because it's the same thing. Well, it's the way we talk to each other. Yeah. Like, I, if I came in here with my son's shoe, and you went, oh, man, that's your shoe? I'd go, excuse me? Yeah. Well, no, it's not my shoe, Brian. Yeah. This is for a six-year-old, yeah. right? You know that, right? <laughs> and that, yeah. like, we joke about it, and yeah. you're like, oh, well. Yeah. Women don't joke well, like that. Well, and they don't joke like that. And also, sometimes, as a man, you're not communicating with them. So what happens is I will be in a position where I'm putting out some fires that are in, I need to. It's money. If it's money, business, whatever, I'm putting out fire. Focused on that. I got some shit I got to do, right? Because otherwise, we have rent. We have a lot of things. I'm a fireman. I wake up in the morning. I put out ten fireman. fires before I see you. Thank you. Fireman. Own a business. Yeah. Try that. Fireman. Mm-hmm. We're fireman. So you're doing this stuff that seems to be very important to bottom line stuff, and because I'm not communicating, I'm keeping it all inside. She's not really. She doesn't know where the fuck I'm coming from. So she comes in talking about daisies. She's talking about something that I need. Daisies. I need to take care of. And I go, and then what happens is because I'm, I'm preoccupied. Sure. What I would do to you is I'd go. I don't give a fuck about that right 100%, now. Hundred percent. And I go noted. Right. That's it. Yeah. It's no big deal. I go. I don't give a. I don't. I oh. I do not give a fuck about that. But in my head, I'd be like, oh, he's probably dealing with something. All good. I'll come back that's later. It. Women don't or play that shit. Or you wouldn't even think that. Or you'd be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. I went right? by whatever. Yeah. Or Move just, on. just what you did just now. Go. But he's making a reference. Like that's hilarious yeah. to me. You do that. When I so what I'll do is I'll go I'm just I'm just being a mood and I go oh I don't give a fuck about that I could care less I don't care about that I care about that as much as that bird oh, <laughs> I'm a dick I'm a fuck. and she's right like like I came home the baby had pooed through his diaper yeah sure and it was on blowout it was it was a blowout and it was on the comforter now the comforter is not expensive it's not a down comforter it's fucking synthetic don't give she's I, busy don't give as fuck. shit she's busy as shit she's doing got, a million things and she's also got the kid that kid sure. is young and it's always on, on her tit all that yep so she kind of left it and what I do is I go she left the poo poo she left the poo poo and for I for how long but you left it to soak for, for how long though it was probably an hour I have a problem with that but, yeah so I go. It's going to soak through. Yeah. And it's shit though, right? I go, well, it's shit, isn't it? It's poo poo, right? That's the kind so of it's stuff. the worst smell in the world and yeah. it's in our fucking house, yeah. right? What she was doing is she was going, first of all, I'll throw that fucking thing away. It's not a big deal because I got 15 other things she was doing, which she was. And she knew that she can get that out. I didn't. So what I do is I go, this makes no sense. This, I'm, now I'm, I'm griping that would trigger as me. I'm cleaning off. That would trigger yeah. me. And I'm going crazy. But that caused a problem. The problem These is, are relationship the, dynamics. Well, the problem is because we talk so much for a living on podcasts and it's like over the top or exaggerating. We have a certain dialogue, the way we speak Humor, each other. Yeah. Rough. We're rough. We're rough. We make fun of each other. It's whatever. People are like, oh, you're bullying him. It's like, oh, have you not listened to the past 10 years? That's how we talk. That's what we talk about. Yeah. That's what we do. Problem is, is when you keep that same vocabulary with people that aren't in the game, like in your regular life. Like, if I talk to my agent the way I talk to you or Mark... I don't know if you remember this, but issues. when Rogan... We, we were doing Rogan a long time ago. Like, this is like eight years ago. And you were kind of vulnerable on... You were on Rogan. It's a big podcast. And you were like, no, I, I have body dysmorphia because I was a fat kid. Mm-hmm. And so now when I take my shirt off and I go... Like, you're trying to open up and I interrupt you and I go, but well, let's get over that right now, huh? Because yeah, yeah. that was in high school, yeah, yeah. huh? And you're a pussy. Yeah, yeah. And we're all laughing. Rogan starts laughing, and you're like, but you were kind of like, no, but and you were trying to, yeah. I, I kind of dunked you underwater. Yeah, I was trying to like, double down on it. Wait, yeah. I mean, I, you know, that's how we do it. Yeah. And you can't do that to people who are sensitive. In the real world? No. And not to your spouse, not to your lady. Oh, no, 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 no. That no. joking does not fly here. Oh, it's here. the biggest problem in my relationship, yeah. the way I talk. Yeah. Yeah. My, it's my, my one vocabulary. Buddy, it's like, yeah. My one buddy's from New York. He's made a billion dollars. And I, I, I call him up, and I was on FaceTime. And my girl was there, and he goes, "What's up, bitch?" And she was like, "Jesus!" And I was like, "No, that's that. 
that's kind of establishing the groundwork. He's joking around. Mm. We're, we're fucking with each other. Yeah, I don't know. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> like if I called my buddy and looked at my girl, what's up, bitch? I'm like, so next time I see you, I'm going to slap you, right? Like, you know that, You didn't know right? my girl was in the car. Oh, he's calling you a bitch. Yeah. No, not her. Oh, I thought you were saying he saw her. I was like, what's up, bitch? No. <laughs> oh, okay. No, FaceTime. He was oh, like, with what's you? up, bitch? Oh, like, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I thought, he's got, hey, I thought he saw your girl. Doesn't know her. Goes, hey, whore. What's up? <laughs> you slut. What's up, slut? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I go, Jesus Christ, man. That's even too much for me. I know. Slut? slut? Yeah. Hot. Yeah, it's not right. good. It's great. Yeah, it's a problem. Oh, you, yeah. just, you just can't. You just can't. It's just a way of communicating. So. <laughs> it's such a problem. Women don't relate to each other with the humor men do a lot of times. How about Ricky Gervais? I watched that special. How funny is it? I was it? laughing so hard. He goes, I'm not talking about the old-fashioned women with a womb. <laughs> I'm talking about the new women with a beard and a cock. He's so funny. Dude. Such a savage. Oh, my God. He's so brilliant. Well, I was laughing so hard, man. He's, he's so, brilliant. so brilliant. Like, as a comic, and you watch that, and you're like, oh, I got work. Oh, he's so I was brilliant. so inspired. Dude. I was like, this motherfucker. Uh, the first time I've like laughed out loud oh, at a too. special. Like, I'm talking out fucking loud. We watched it, me out. and my girl and a couple of friend of ours, we were all howling. And know? his thing on transgender, like the women stuff, it, to me, and it's, it's, this isn't a knock on Dave Chappelle, who's one of the goats, but it's his approach to it is so, it's weird. His delivery, yeah. it's less harsh and yes. less. Yes. Uh, it, do you know what I'm saying? I it's do, like, I, I exactly watch it, I'm like, thought about that. And I'm like, oh, it's so smart. That makes it it's so smart. Yeah, Ricky Dave, is just hilarious. Dave Chappelle's is smart, and there's like a uh, he do, he goes a roundabout way yeah. of doing it because the yeah. end yeah. he's trying to be like it's empowering. One of my best friends is a transgender. Yeah. And you're like, oh, that yeah. makes Ricky sense. All that shit like, said. Fuck off. Ricky's like, fuck off. This is how I feel. So but it's also so creative and yeah. thoughtful. The way he gets there, and so clean. He's like, genius. Yeah. Ricky Gervais is a genius. Ricky Gervais wrote Compared him. Extra we all saw. Oh. We all saw. <laughs> he's oh, by the way, you know he's a high level musician, right? Oh, monster. Yeah, monster. And I love how he was like he took. I think he he's like music by Ricky Gervais. I don't think there was any music in it. <laughs> you, you, uh, you, you know, you know my only complaint. It's this thing. It's the only thing. I'm like, ah, I wish you wouldn't do that. The the TED Talk. Yeah. Microphone. Yeah. yeah. That's because we're comics. That, that's because. I'm like, God, how do you not want that mic, dog? Yeah. I don't like wireless mics anymore. No, I know. I, I need a cord, dude. Yeah, I know. I need. I have to have a cord. They ask all the time, cord or cordless. I'm like, cord every I time. Have a cord. Cordless has issues. Yeah. Sometimes it sounds up. Sometimes it, uh, you can actually turn it off. Like, I'm, I need that cord. Yeah. I like the, the 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 fucking rope. I like moving around it. It's the you know? greatest. Right now, I'm I'm you know after the special, I got to come up with a whole new act. But I'm so inspired. I mm -hmm. watch somebody like Richard Gervais, and I'm just like, boom! I start thinking. You know. Oh, he was so fucking good. He's so funny, dude. Well, it also goes to show you that the culture is changing. That we're fed up. Everybody's fed up. With mm -hmm. this. Everybody's fed up with being bullied on how to think. You know, there are these comics. I don't know if you know that were that are signing these declarations of never, never telling, never punching down with their jokes. Like punching are, down, you, meaning people meaning are not what? funny. Meaning what? Like making fun nope. of people. Oh, nobody good's like, doing that. But no, 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 but nobody making no, money. You're torrents not, you're doing not that. Comics. No, no. Get the fuck out. That of gives here. those shitty comics like they're not comics. It get, well, it gives them an agenda, right? It's like oh. I'm gonna be part of this group. It's like, have cool, you cool. seen these? Woke All comics? of you are gonna make twelve dollars a year touring. Oh, but but they're not funny. No, have you seen it. But that's why they're doing it. Oh, it's hilarious. So, su successful comics aren't the. Think about this. You have to write a new hour. You don't have time to fight that or do this. Sign a petition. The whole point or, of comedy what? is it, it disturbs, shakes you up, and you're like, oh fuck. That that's the whole point. They're not funny. The whole the whole far left woke movement is it lacks two things: sex and humor, and money, and money. Sex, humor, and money. Yeah, yeah. That makes the world and, go. And, that makes and the world muscle, go around. And muscle. And 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 and, and, physical, and attractiveness. And attractiveness. I'm well, sorry. Those four things make proportion. The, they make the world go attractiveness, around. Attractiveness, sir. Athleticism, sex, humor, money, and just courage. Humanity and courage. Courage. So that makes the world go around. The worst. So how's that going for you? And also those things you listed off, it, that works for every society in the world. Correct. Everyone. Go do your weird alt comedy or your weird woke, woke comedy in China. I mean, that goes for you. Because you and I can go <clears throat> tour with the troops, do it anywhere in the world. At the, at the heart of it also, you know, at the, the, like it's critical, right? It's, 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 it's massively critical and destructive. And I, one of the things about being a critic, which we all are, it's fun to be a critic. And one of the things that I know for sure is if you spend your life as a critic, if you spend your life looking at what's wrong, if you spend your life highlighting what's wrong if you spend your life voicing what's wrong all the time 
that same critic is you never escape it that same critic i promise will come back and haunt you when you try something so it actually paralyzes you so if you don't but find again, the be, good and praise the good but, you don't get but, anything done yeah but again no nobody worth anything in this game is whether it's podcasting that. or like have we ever criticized somebody no. well i'll make some jokes about a famous celebrity sure. but if it's somebody i know or somebody in our world yeah have you ever heard me criticize have you ever anybody? taken to someone's instagram and been like you suck have you ever done that i mean no, i don't have not, I don't, you don't I, time i don't i don't, I don't know <laughs> you don't have time. i wish i did it's not, you know <laughs> yeah but th that kind of stuff is uh very bad for the person doing it yeah but but also the, the people doing that they're not come they're, they're just not talented well, they're already destroyed. but they're also not they're talented also destroyed they're also but it's not talent it's not, if you have talent you don't have time to do that they're shit. not doing well no 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 so that's that's why yeah. it goes for him you know that's the thing about people who rail against existence in general it's fucking a tough way to live man it's not oh, it must be exhausting being that upset well, all the time unhealthy. and then to go to twitter to express your concerns what was that thing too like confucius said before you seek revenge remember to dig two graves mm, one for yourself one for yeah. You are spending all your time trying to do old Confucius. Old <laughs> Confucius. The old scallywag. Old scallywag. <laughs> a man lives. Old Confucius. A man has two lives, and the and, and his second Dude, my, life. My, my therapist, who's when he fucking, he has one. My therapist is brilliant, and uh, she'll reference these old guys and like you know Confucius or whatever, yeah. Emerson, all this stuff, and I have to pretend I know what she's talking about. I'm like, <laughs> that's a good one. Never heard of it before. <laughs> she, and she, she, she's so smart. She'll go. Write that down. Because she'll know. She'll she, like, write that she down. Knows. Write that down. She knows you're not reading Ralph Waldo Emerson. No, missed that in uh, That's pretty college. cool that she does that. Oh, dude. Some of the... Some, I didn't I'm think a, you're I'm seeing a therapist. Yeah, yeah, You mentioned that the other day. Yeah, twice. Uh, once a week, sometimes twice a week. How long have you been doing it? Mm, almost six months now. It helps you? Yeah, yeah. It helps I never would have pegged you for therapy. Me neither. What got you into it? Uh, I think when I started Thick Boy, just the anxiety and stress that came with like being responsible for employees and then also having kids like the anxiety I have with kids and yeah. with this mass shootings and yeah. all the fears of having being a dad and then yeah. you know you talk about general, money and just, just like they it's listen, been a tough two years listen Bubba I didn't have anxiety when I was a top 10 heavyweight in the world fighting grown men inside of the octagon I know I didn't have anxiety when I played in huge bowl games yeah. for uh, uh, University of Colorado I don't have the game plan. I don't have anxiety being the wedge buster against CT, going against a guy who's going to get drafted in the first round. None of that gave me anxiety. Yeah, I know. Are you never anxiety guy? Never. I do well with it. In fact, always. I pride myself me. on yeah, it. I pride me. myself just, on it. You were like tough. You always. Just, yeah. And I still am. And yeah. I do a good job at navigating through it. But then which there, you guys know. But then there's it keeps chipping away, keeps chipping away, keeps chipping away. And then yeah. finally, I'm like, oh, I need some help. Yeah. And I'm not going to get help from. It's not that I can't talk to you or, you know, Todd Feldman or Rogan or the, the, that's great. You need someone with an on by opinion and also they're not in the business, yes. you know? And so I, she'll, I she'll, she'll, she'll say things like, I'll tell and she's like, and why are you giving this energy? And I'm like, yes. well, cause she goes, actually again, why are you like, your energy is so sacred, man. Why are you giving that energy? Correct. I'm like, I'm like, as I said out loud, I'm embarrassed. She's like, you should be. Yeah. And then she should draw like this stuff. And then the thing that we have too is i'll have a lot of problems in any relationship not just with my wife just in general yeah. business whatever in text and email i can be very harsh it's very black and white there's no context yeah. so she was like uh can i see because apparently you know your communication there's something going on here yeah. she goes can i go through your phone read through your text i go absolutely she goes through it and i go this one was a problem and she goes really let me look at it and she works with the other client she's looking at it she goes there's no context here she goes in person you're the nicest most thoughtful biggest heart person i i one of the biggest people yeah, i've ever met i would agree with that yeah she goes but this doesn't sh there's no context yeah so this comes well, off you like, and i've done that she goes, this comes off like you're steve you and i'll start she goes like, this comes off like you're steve yeah. jobs dude yes. i was like i know she goes unless it's like reservations or hey running 10 minutes late no more texting if it's important and it's meaningful or it's business you have to get a point across you're going to start calling from now on well, you, and and you know who that. I thought of? Picked up the phone. You know who I thought of? Joey Diaz. You ever text Joey? He calls you. Every time. He calls. Yeah. Every, Joey, Joey picks you up text, the phone. He texts, hey, what's up, brother? Just, you know, I'll catch up with people through text. Just, I'll think of someone or someone I know is going through a tough time or maybe they dropped a special or they had a kid. I'll shoot a text. You know, and it's like, oh, thanks, dude. Joey, I'm like, hey, what, just check in, brother. Miss you. Boom. What's up, cocksucker? <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. What's up, dude? One of the things I'm writing about and thinking about a lot at my age is that I'm starting to realize that, number one, you can't 
you can't uh, you can't build enough armor for all the things that can fuck you up because there's var there's variables that you variables can't, there's not the the armor you're not aware of yet that's right and but you're going to build that armor when it comes and there are enemies that there are things that can get to you that you ha you don't even know how to fight back on mm -hmm. that's kind of the nature of life and mm -hmm. the other thing is as you get older i i realize i don't know i don't have an answer for a lot of things i don't i have a trade-off i th th there's not a there's there's a, a maybe a lesser evil or maybe they both suck, but I, this is this is going to suck less. There's a lot of that in life, so a lot of times I and it's okay not to have the answers. Here's the thing, B. If you would have said I have all the answers, you're a narcissist. Yes, it's human to go. I don't know, but also going through therapy more more. is making me a better dad. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like that that everything I do, better dad. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like the way I talk to my son about certain things. He's having a bully issue at school. You know, the way I came up, I was like, because it, if it gets to me, it's a problem. My, my girl in that school knows I'm busy. If it gets to me, it's come at a level where, all right, we've tried everything. It's, it's a problem. Mm. It got to me. Dude, the, the anger that I had in my heart when I found out my son was having issues is some of the worst anger I've ever had in my life. I called my therapist on the spot. I got to talk to you right now. She's like, calm down. Don't send the email. I want you to call him. Because she knows. She goes, your email is going to be brutal, dude. Yeah. So I did. I went, and she goes, I want you to wait an hour. Think through it. Wait an hour, and I called him. Great advice, fucking great advice, man. Because what I told my son, I how long it's been going? He's like, you know, it's been you know four months, and your heart starts beating right away. And 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 he's doing this to the other kids, and but and I go, and what has he done? To you? you know, he's hit me, and I go, and Tiger, he's the most, you know, it is what it is. He's the most athletic, and he's big for a six year old. And I go, and he keeps doing it to you. And you tell the teacher, and he goes, yeah. And I go, and you, and is the parents aware of it? He goes, yeah, mom's aware of it. And I look at my girl, why won't you tell me? She goes, because I know you overreact. I go, I'm not going to overreact. So my initial, and I'm sure parents have gone through this. This is why I'm telling the story. My initial reaction was, I got bullied in fourth and fifth grade. My dad goes, how long has it been going on? I go, about two weeks now. It's every day. And he goes, it's not going to stop till you stick up for yourself. Next time he does something, I don't care if you get in trouble. You take your fucking fish, you punch him right in the face. Yeah. You answer back and he's going to stop because he knows the old you're not thing. the one. Yep. That's why I told my son. Here's the, I said, here's the thing, dude. You tried it all. I, I go, did you talk to him? He goes, yep. I go, did you talk to your teacher? He goes, yep. So you talked to the parents? He goes, yep. I go, and he keeps doing it. He goes, yep. I said, tomorrow when he does that and my son starts crying, I don't want to hit him. I, don't, I go, you have to do this. If he tries this tomorrow, you got to let him know you're not the one because his school is K through 12. I said, Bubba. Take it from me. I'm too nice. I get taken advantage of all the time. All the time. You know this. All the time because I'm so nice. I told him, I said, you're going to deal with this for the rest of your life, dude. You fucking hit that kid. And he knows you're not the one. Now, <clears throat> it might be me projecting my own issues on my son, you know? Mm. And he's crying because he doesn't want to hit him and stuff like that. And I walked away and I felt like a complete piece of shit. Like, I mean, hitting can't be the answer. It's not the There's answer. no way that's the answer. It's not the answer. It's not the answer. Right, I, 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 I like, uh, the one thing I want to do is a meal plan. I don't have time to cook all the time. So what happens is I go a long period without food, then I gorge, and I need, I need, I'd love, because I travel, I'm in my car all the time. I want my meals with me. Dude, you need Factor. Factor makes it easy for a thick boy like myself to eat clean 24 seven. Really? With fresh, it's never frozen, Ooh. prepared meals that are delicious. You wouldn't believe they're this good, dude, because you're losing weight, you're getting in shape, you're looking good, man. All right, feel good for the summer. Do they, have, they have keto options? Dude, calorie smart, keto options, built-in portion control. They're gonna do it all, so it takes the guesswork out of it. Factor now offers 30 meals per week. Ooh. You can choose from a variety of new meals every single week, so you never, Get sick can you of it, change man. it up though? Yeah, you can change it up though. I don't have to. Whatever you want, man. Stuff. Whatever you want. Add two, three, or even four meals to your order. Whatever you like most. Factor saves me time by delivering chef crafted meals to my doorstep, dude. No grocery stores, no dishes, none of that awesome. stuff. Just results. Your boy looks good. I'm wearing short shorts right now, thanks to Factor. Ready to eat in two minutes, apparently. Either. Yeah, dude. Head to 
go.factor75.com slash fighter120. Use the code fighter120 to get 120 buckaroos off this delicious meal plan. That's code fighter120 at go.factor75.com slash fighter120 for 120 buckaroos off your meal plan. They offer vegan, veggie meals, keto meals, low calorie options, cold pressed juices, smoothies, Smoothies. energy bites, Uh, plant based bars, uh, extra protein, uh, veggie sides. Dude. Damn. There's no reason to be out of shape, man. Stay fueled Go and focused. Go dot factor seventy five dot com slash fighter one twenty. I, I want I want to stay optimized. At the end of the day, if you're not optimizing your body, you're getting in the way of your success. I think if most people felt really good, the world would be a better place. Oh my Physically, god! Physically, if you felt man. really good, you know, if, if we you could had just your, send our haters some on it supplements, that's all you need. They turn from haters to appreciators. Cr- cr- you gotta oil. feel good, dude. Yeah, you get b- b- alpha brain focuses your brain. Total you gut got, health. It all starts in the gut, Dad. That saved me from. I had one month. I know this for a fact. I had one month of. I ate bad sushi for one month. Yep. I wasn't right. Yep. I took. Uh, I took total gut health, I think, five times, and it went away. I stay on it. Whenever daddy has a little tummy problem, total gut <sighs> health, man. It's amazing. They got protein powders. They got protein bars, protein bites. They got uh, freaking dark roast coffee, elk bars, warrior bars, fat butters. We got it all, man. Workout gear. We have on-demand workouts, streaming fitness. You don't have to go to the gym anymore. Steel clubs, steel Those maces, on, on it and quad the maces. Best stuff Dude, there is. on it, sandbags, battle robes. Yeah. You want a great workout? Get an on it, sandbag, get a battle robe. Yep. You're doing work, And then son. do the on it in 30. It's yeah, dude, kettlebells, primal bells, legend bells. Yep. On it.com slash fighter, 10% off. On it.com slash fighter, 10% off. It's so hard, too, because that, that is such a natural reaction of being a protector and being a man and all that shit. It's so deep in our DNA. And, and I love people who are like, oh, hitting's not the answer, but you're doing it in another way. You know, human beings, like, don't tell me that, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, hitting is not the answer. That's probably bad advice to your child, right? Um, it depends though, right? Well, well, so, yeah. so, 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 I, I don't know. It's an inconvenient conversation because what happens is people will do it in other ways. They'll destroy your reputation. Right. Mm-hmm. They're, you know, yeah. both sides. Social, it's my there joke is social on, violence. It's my joke you know? on that. Like, like the, a, a right winger will punch you in the face if you insult the country. A left winger doesn't believe in violence, but they will publicly shame you and destroy your career. So Would you you, I'd rather me, you punch me in yeah, the face. Yeah, you tell yeah. me what the fuck. So both sides believe in destruction. Yeah. Don't tell me. I would me. say one's worse than the other. Yeah, well, and exactly. getting punched in the face isn't that bad. Yeah, I mean, Trust me. At least you're standing there and you're fucking up close and personal. And, but then it's over. Right. It's not a constant right. barrage. Right. Right. of abuse online think, yeah. in both, si- both are not probably the, the the question is and i don't have an answer again i don't have an answer for, for yourself i was gonna right say now. What, what do you do be? now now it stopped you know i, I had a conversation yeah. with well, the, the parents i had a conversation the, with the teachers you talk to the parents yeah i, I talked to the, you guys come together mm-hmm. and the parents have to meet you halfway and if not like i think now now parents get together teachers get together we figure something out you know what for me what i what i would do in my experiences parents get together the kids get together with the parents we have a common thing you create a common enemy maybe that they have to they have to team up together and work together they have an experience together but it's tough look and the other day too dominance hierarchies exist no matter what and you are going to have kids that have new weaponry they feel strong and they're going to use it my problem is that bad apples my problem th- th- that's the thing my bad out because I, as i talked to the, the other parents who was on a group text every single parent had to complain about this kid. anti-social so i told behavior. the school i went yo yo behavior. man yo man this just isn't one circumstance yeah. ask all these kids every single one of them have a problem every single one there's one common denominator you guys have yeah. to do something about this and then you know i said if you don't do something i will i know who the parents are I'm gonna drive to school tomorrow. I'll have a conversation. I promise you, it won't be as fun as your conversation. That's right. I'm yeah. telling you, fuck with my kid, man. See what happens. Right. I mean, how how long are you gonna do this? You know. I think that the do nothing advice that you always get from that ain't happening. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. So whether it's a threat of violence and saying drawing a boundary and saying do it again and I will punch you, I think that's a very fair thing to say because you're teaching kids like there are lines you can cross. Well, the I, world's gonna kick him in the ass. You. The world's gonna punch yeah. him in the face if that kid doesn't. Right. And, the world's gonna and kick also, him in the nuts. when you're dealing with a kid who has all those other kids complaining. Guess what he's doing? He's also manipulating and intimidating all of them to not say anything. Correct. You know, so I, like, you have, you have seen to that? root that have out. Have you ever seen like uh, in primates? Mm-hmm. So in chimp uh, colonies, in bamboo colonies and mm-hmm. stuff, they, uh, b- baboon, bamboo. Like chimpanzee in politics? Bab- baboon, yeah. Yeah, the, the, what a, a male, there'll usually be one male, one real sociopath male that fucking beats up or kills the children, the females, the, the, the other males, the beta males, 
and the whole troop is awful. And then, then, then a couple of younger males will kind of start emulating that. And so a small band of males are running this whole group, and it's yeah. awful. It's a tyranny. Yeah. And then what happens in chimps is a couple of beta males who are brothers or have been friends forever, or even a bunch of females get yeah. together and go, cool. you know what? That's enough. We're going to tear that fucker's face off. Yeah, cool. And they... Yeah kill that motherfucker yeah they and that, rip and that's his what, balls off dude, and take his face off dude that, and it's that, that crazy you brought this up because my son's friends ripped that kid's face off <laughs> <laughs> there you go. full circle yeah he there doesn't have a face yeah because we're all Remember the lady that got her we're all face monkeys ripped off the by the, the ape on oprah he went, he went yeah. like that yeah she, he looks like that now there and i go. went <laughs> did you learn your lesson did you learn your lesson you know that's that's primate that's chimpanzee policy no it is yeah the the book by franz de wall um it's Great amazing book. these stories it's Great like book. you can follow this whole narrative of how these like the group the coalition got together and says enough's enough and overthrew this guy but then they're dealing with their like it's well, incredible Sapolsky, i think it was sapolsky who, who wrote behave he had a ted talk about that and he said Bab baboons this one baboon came into the troop and he was just uh there were a bunch of baboons who were like you know a bunch of guys like you and you and just big kind of guys who were there for a long time nice guys everything's Chilling. good yep. and some fucking <laughs> greens kind of youngish baboon comes in and he's like this he's just walking around grabbing the females Red ass. i'm gonna <laughs> just pushing kind of bullying grabbing food yeah. from the other males right and the, the and kevin the, spacey of baboons and he supposed to get, they, some of those the males just sat there and all of a sudden they just got quiet they just got quiet they were the pieces. and they just they were well, the it's great because they just sat there like this right <laughs> and they're just looking and the next morning all they found of that baboon was its face yeah yeah oh. like it's supposed to get has it it's, it's like a ted talk its face it and its face is like this they wait like for the that, sun to come down like Squid Game. They ripped that <laughs> motherfucker's rip them face apart. off. That was yeah. all that was left. They yeah. were like, we're going to fucking Good for kill them. you. And that's the way nature oh, yeah. deals with it. We're going to scatter your body all over this fucking <laughs> that's fucking nature for you, Savannah. Mama. Oh, that's nature. That's nature. Nature will. But the real Nature's world, if, you're, if you are an antisocial child, okay? They, this is The literature on this is so clear. I've read about it. I've read about it. The, the, if you are an antisocial child and you are doing things that make um, people not like you, that does not get better those no, kids yeah. end up in jail mm -hmm. they get up j dead jail yeah. school criminals, shooters yeah. all that shit so it's it doesn't work out for you no so you when nip people that in the ass. That's you gotta nip it in the ass That's that parenting. kid's gotta learn yep. that kid who's a problem yep. has got to learn that the world is going to punch you in the fucking face and it's going to be way worse than tiger hitting him in the face it's going to be jail mm -hmm. juvie mm -hmm. all that shit you did know? you ever meet a sociopathic kid like a younger kid where you're like, oh, this, um, this, this could, it's going to be a problem. I have once. Yeah. I have once. Yeah. And that is psychotic children that exists. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 you know, if I you, met a kid who, who made me look into it because I'm like, something's wrong with this kid and nobody's acknowledging it. And his mom also thinks that never, like, never saying no is a good parenting philosophy. And this kid has some weird behaviors. Well, this kid. How, what, what grade, Mark? I want to say he was like nine, but he would like touch women. It like happens he, like younger, my girl, he'd like, he like touch girls he's related to, yeah. And it's like, so he's inappropriately touching. He's stealing shit. He lies. He'll do like emotional displays and then back out of like, oh, I'm crying. And then like, you're like, no, you're not. And he's like, I know. He's he like, Whoa. manipulated. Correct. They manipulate. I, I, I don't know. Any, I didn't know any animals. Even younger, you know? even younger. And some of these kids will exhibit that behavior toward their siblings. Right. So this one woman who had a son mm. who was a major problem, never got better. And, uh, he, she knew he threatened. He said, she heard him saying to his brother, he said, it's okay mom's not going to be here for a second when when that happens i'm going to show you i'm going to show you what you did wrong and you're not going to be around and, and how was, old is he he Chilling. was he was six or something that's six insane or seven. Chilling. and she said she said she knew because he had been exhibited that he was the problems. next ted well, he, had, he had never he could he wouldn't connect with humans uh, it's a so he would not problem. connect with you as so a she parent knew can you imagine as a parent it was the worst dude? also the the drawings that he was making were Scary. um like the ring drawings, beyond yeah. what you can imagine yeah, so horrible. so when you have when you draw a figure a human figure um in school and everybody puts their thing up he would draw something so dark with teeth and like horrible yeah and so they knew and then he went to a school but what do you do so so there are schools there are schools there are things where where the child is basically because so so sometimes a child can you not kill, change them well, can, sometimes can a child will that? kill their own sibling so you can have a 10 year old who kills his brother or sister and does it because the kid is and doesn't a give a fuck. You don't give a fuck. It's like pack mentality. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And those children now, they put them in these 
programs where they are there with other kids like that. And that's they don't know what to do with those kind of God, kids. Is there a teacher stuff? professor no. X? Like what do you do? They, yeah. like, are they, they all study, X-Men? Can you, it's, can you it, teach a psychopathic child empathy? No, there was a, no, so what you can there, do, right? what you can do is make so one thing about sociopaths is they're concerned with themselves. Nothing else, right? But and it's the way they treat animals too, right? All like that. the way they treat animals that's if a little they're bit really different. aggressive. So that's different. So so mm. there are sadistic sociopaths. So that would be serial killers who get off on the act of killing. That's a very rare kind of aberration. That that's a sick dog that needs to be killed. But sociopaths actually tend to be completely um, apathetic to your just people. They just they're not interested in you at all. They're not interested in yeah. people. At they all. never ask like, yeah. "How are you doing? How's your you know, weekend?" None of that exists. People. So what? What? So they're just not remotely. In fact, they'll they'll copy emotions and they'll try to. Because they mimic, think they're supposed to act. They'll that way. mimic empathy, but so what you teach? I don't them, know anybody like that. I've never. No, no, it's very like rare. That. I've it's met very a few, rare. and it's really <laughs> vanishingly rare with with females. Yeah. They exist, but it's way more common with. Oh, I met one of them. Yeah. yeah, yes. <laughs> now, now, what's interesting about that is is that what they'll teach a sociopath is you can get it. You you care about yourself. This technique you're doing, this this thing you're doing is gonna get, you're gonna get found out, and yeah. you're gonna you're gonna have it's gonna be the worst thing for you. Like Amber Heard. For you, like Amber yeah. Heard. Yeah. yeah. They use mm. examples of how you're gonna get found out, no matter who you are. Th this is the worst. So. You have to you have to kind of mimic, you have to be, uh, approximate a good person and do good things and don't steal, don't kill, don't do these things because it gets you ahead because um, you you can't right. get away with it. Yeah, and you make it you make it very rational, calculated, and mathematical. Yeah, so that then that kind of person says, "I'm going to be the CEO of a company." I'm going to give a shitload of charity so my name is up on a fucking board oh, so I have so, more money, more oh, wow. women, more booze, more yeah. everything like yeah, that. Yeah, you're, you're Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the sociopath a lot of times though will, a lot of CEOs, a lot of, they say chefs, CEOs, surgeons. Newsome, keep going. A lot of yeah. people. Newsome. Politics. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> will, 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 keep going. They will tend to like um, going. put themselves in positions where the only way they know how to relate is, is power dynamics. They have to be over you. Yes. They have to. They can't ever do this. Correct. They have to be here. Everything is strong versus weak. Yeah. What a what a miserable fucking life. It doesn't work. Have, have you have you uh, that show uh, Love on the Spectrum? Yeah. So the first season, which was fucking brilliant, you know what this is, B? Yeah. So Love on the Spectrum, the first season was in Australia. Some and these you realize kids who have autism on the spectrum, some way worse than the others. And you, you, you know, they're always constantly looking for love. They're trying to make a connection. The new season just dropped. It's in America. The characters aren't as good. The, the the individuals aren't as good as the Australian one, but they're they're the same, right? And there's a guy on there who lives in San Francisco. He's 61 years old. He's never had a girlfriend, and he's on he's on the spectrum. It's bad. He has a caretaker, and he he looks he's an older gentleman, but he's looking for love, and they set him up on these dates. But I told my girl, I'm like, I would, I wish I had a friend like that. He sees his friend. It's his best friend. And he's like, what are you looking for? He's like, I'm looking for you, but girl version. He's like, you're so nice to me. And just the way he talks, he's so proper. He's like, it's good to see you. How are you doing? And he's like, you know, the way you make me feel after we meet, we need to see each other more. Because after I see you, um, my days, that's him right there, Steve, 63, San Francisco. Oh, what a nice guy. He takes pictures because he went on a dating app. They set him up. One date just doesn't work. The lady looks like the, the nun from The Conjuring. And then the other lady, that's so aggressive. And then the other lady has like pink dyed hair. But they're all on the spectrum. But this guy, I'm like, God, I wish I had a fucking friend like this dude. He's so positive, and just the, the, the way he looks at life is so positive. Then there's another guy on there what, what, who's what, what, really why? bad on the spectrum. Really, really bad. Yeah, but what about him? Wait, stop for him. Yeah, well, go ahead. Why, why, why can't he, uh, what is it? He just can't connect? What is it? No, he can connect. He's the most loving guy you, you, you've ever met, the nicest guy in the so world. So what's the problem? He's on the spectrum. Yeah. Like really bad, so he's a caretaker and like. Oh, so he can't work. He has no money. He has no. <laughs> he must. So I, 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 I need to look more into him. But yeah. his dad was in Hollywood. I think his dad was like a big agent, a big producer, because he grew up in L.A. and then moved to San Francisco. So has, and his place in San Fran, I know San Fran. Uncle Pax from San nice, Fran. Nice Your boy's place. been to San Fran. <laughs> I know San Fran. I look at his flat that he owns, Spencer. and he has a caretaker full time. Like, oh, daddy had money, yeah. uh -huh. which is all good, and you know. But yeah. for look him, the way he wears his gloves. He, he always wears gloves, no matter what. He always wears gloves. And he goes on these dates, and he's all these ideas for dates, and he's such a kind fucking person. You watch that show, and you watch these kids on the spectrum, and then there's there's one girl on there, um, and she makes a connection. 
she makes a connection she's on the spectrum bad she's like uh not her he's james is really really bad really bit meaning his his spectrum uh, the, on his spectrum he it's bad where like he goes with this girl and he's just he's like so much and the girl has autism too and she was like hey i just want to be friends and he like breaks his heart abby see the mom in the back gorgeous lady for she's probably 60 in the back so she makes a connection she gets a real boyfriend the mom is in tears because she's like i can't believe this happened for my daughter of course. i looked at my girl I'm like, i can't watch this I, shit, dude. Uh, you should though it makes me no sad. no it should you should watch it though it will because it gives you an insight and a perspective where even though these kids are expecting this so many problems the way they view the world is so much better than us it's yeah, so much yeah. better and then that mom is crying i looked at my girl i go can you imagine no. if your kids had this? No, like man. just the luck of the, the mom didn't do anything wrong. Like the look of the all. But when I looked it up with autism. A lot of it is the parents, even though they're not autistic, they have certain things they do where when they have kids, the kids have autism. There's certain markers yeah. they can tell them. Really? Yeah. 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 It's like, really? give me a hundred people yes. and be like, I can tell Wait, you two pairing up are going to make some things? autistic kids. I, I forget. I looked it up, but it said they're, 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 they can, they, the kids. <laughs> really? Well, I mean, I honestly associate like a lot of Asperger's have super high IQ. Oh, so, so a lot of it's you just, know, they, 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 like, the parents are certain take, yeah, take kind of person. things and yeah, you go like, all right, you, you guys are There's both something there and they, they can say, you can look at the two parents and go, there's a good chance your kids going to have autism. Now, there's some kids with autism, like, I would say Elon Musk is on the spectrum. Correct. Yes. Some are working at a different level. Yeah. yeah. Which they can, they can still do function. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Peter Thiel. Peter Thiel is 100%. a yeah. billionaire. But it's like, yeah, crank this up. And, and maybe you won't read social cues as well. But yeah, maybe, maybe they're not the IQ funniest outgoing yeah. guy. You know, but I, I had dinner with Peter Thiel. And like, take it I, easy. But he's so smart. Like, I, it yeah. was a group, a lot of large group. Yeah. But I, I realized how fucking dumb I was because I was listening to him talk. And he has a perspective, like like everything I say comes from what I've read, you know, shit. Somebody else said it, me too. and then I put yeah, it me, together. Yeah, me too. And, and, okay, yeah. and this if is you talk about podcasts and comedy, I'm all day, I'll, I'll, I'll talk your off. All day. Yeah. Outside them, like, yeah, yeah, I just yeah, come yeah, up yeah. with, you know. You want to talk about uh, fighting, I mean. You want to talk about history, and I, I'll just, I heard, and then, you know. Yeah. This dude was formulating original thoughts yeah. in real time. So impressive. Where I was yeah. like, I've never heard that in my life. They had dude, models of the universe. That seemed to me to like, if, it, if I meet a billionaire, a millionaire, someone super successful in whatever lane, entertainment, celebrity, whatever, artist, actor, whatever, that doesn't really impress me. You know what impresses me the most these days is a good vocabulary. <laughs> like if they're throwing around words, I'm like, where can I get a book to improve my vocabulary? <laughs> my dad is that way. Where can I get my, my that father book? Is, my father is, you can't find, I told you, my sister and I were going through the dictionary trying to find words he didn't know. You don't know? And then he That's knew, so impressive No, he to knew me. every word, but then, get this, then we were making up words. I was creating hybrids, and my dad would go like this. He goes, not a word. He just ha, knows. couldn't get it. <laughs> hey, B, but what right. do you, so like, you know, since. Well, he studied Latin and Greek. Uh, yeah. that, that helps. But like, he as far as vocabulary, root. I thought, because uh, you know this, how, 10 years ago when we were at Scopa and you're Ritty friends and their vocabulary and the and the politics. I was like, oh, I'm a meathead. Yeah. Since that day, I read. Your boy reads books. Oh, I know you do. I power through books. I know you. And do. I thought it would give me a better vocabulary. I remember the day you said that, you go, dude, I'm embarrassed. It clicked. I'm telling I you, there's certain anything. moments in your life where it goes, and I went, <laughs> you were all quiet. No more, dude. Because uh, that's on uh, me. That's on me, dude. That's and, on and, me. And what's what's great about education for anybody listening? It belongs to you too. It's not hard. You just got to read the right stuff. You, put effort like, in it. you just got to find something you're into. It's just information. You name a book on JFK, serial killers, your boy <laughs> got it covered. You like history too? Love history. Yeah. Love it. World War II. Yeah. You want to talk about Nazis? I'm, I, dude, I have my bachelor's Steroids? Degree. Yeah. yeah. Steroids for him. But it's like, if you can find something you're into. In the mm -hmm. So I thought by reading all these books, my vocabulary would get better. It, it may be a tad, but not really. I, I wonder if yeah. there's some way to do it. There's a you know? website called Membean that my buddy did where it's like, it literally there's websites where like every day you can spend 10 minutes and it like helps you learn more vocab. Really? Because he's a writer and he said it really helped him. Because like you find yourself using the same words over and over again. Yes. And it's like, man, I To I describe want... certain things. Yes. I'm like, dude, you're using that word too much. But yeah. it will also help in your comedy. Yeah. Correct. It will also help yeah. with you. Like I want to expand my vocabulary for my comedy. You yeah. know? Yeah. Membean.com is one. I, and there's probably other competitors. Will you send me that? Like, they've Mark? got it down to. Will you like, send yeah. me that? Yeah. It's like a lot of it's reading. A day. lot of it's reading good literature. Good literature um, is that those people are masters with their words. They're the you best. Read Joseph Conrad. Fucking Joseph Conrad, Lord Jim, one considered one of the greatest uh, uh, novels ever written. He'll use words that the, the British used words the way the fucking Italians make cars. 
I mean, it, that's, that's the thing. Like, you ever talk to a Brit? Like, <sighs> you'll make fun of their accent. They go, hey, bitch, we started oh, the we English started language. This shit, dude. So when you say we you're say the one with the accent. Yeah, when they say, when we go, oh, no, you're saying it wrong. Like, no, no, no. We started the Correct. English language. You're saying it wrong. You go, oh, that's right. Correct. The way you say it is the proper way. Exactly. Exactly. But even when like, like, you know, my dad always told me education, education, but you know, sports was a double edged sword because you can get by in life and you're, you know, silver spoons. Yeah. It's a bummer, dude. So with my kid, it's a bummer. It's not, it led me here. But like with my kids, my dad always prided on education, like always first, like made sure I got good grades. Yeah, it's very educated. Yeah, very smart. Very smart. You want to get an argument with him. He's insanely articulate. Yeah, it's nuts. So, and my mom, <clears throat> wicked fucking smart. You know, I'm the stupid one in the family. That's no surprise, Your right? Your mom's very smart. Yeah, my mom's stupid smart too. So, You're not stupid. No, not at all. But compared to them, you know, I'm on the spectrum. But with uh, MJ, you know, JJ smart as shit too. Jay, Jay reads a lot, but shit. all of them read a ton. Yeah. And then I, ju- I just got to the game late because I was majored in sports. But with my kids, I tell Tiger, because again, him and Boston, they're, they're big athletic kids. And I'm like, that's cool, man. Yeah, and that's fine, and you know that's gonna get you this far in life. I said, but nothing is more powerful than fucking knowledge, dude. I'm t- and, and I go, T, that's on you, Bubba. That's on you, dude. Yeah. So you know now, you know we'll still go to the toy store, but we go to Barnes and Noble, mm. and he gets a new book every two weeks, mm. new book, and he's reading it, and I'm like, I'm telling you, dude, this is power. The greatest joy. I, for I, me. I, I go, dude, you want to be you? You want to get far in life? The knowledge that you get, dude, all this reading that you're gonna do. This is power. So even like at night, he can watch TV for an hour before he goes to bed. He has a TV in his room, which I frowned upon, but his mom wanted it, didn't want to fight about it. So he has a TV. So he'll watch like, you know, cartoons or whatever. And then I think it's on uh, uh, Apple TV. They have a new uh, show on there on dinosaurs. And technology is so good. These dinosaurs look so fucking real, but it's educating them on dinosaurs. So he's brushing his teeth. I click on it. And so when he comes, he walks in, he brushes his teeth. He goes, Papa, I'm ready. I put on his, you know, jammies or whatever. And I go, dude, look at these dinosaurs. He's like, that, that was real? I'm like, yeah, dude, that T-Rex was real, man. And they go to another one. He goes, hold, that, that fucking pterodactyl is real. I'm like, those were real back in the day. And he's like, whoa. I'm like, T, you know what's cool, dude? If you watch this, how cool is this? He's like, this is crazy. I go, it's crazy. You watch this and, you, and you're going to download all this information. You know how many fucking, your friends are going to be jealous, dude. He's like, real? I'm like, yeah, dude. Because you know all this shit, man. And this is real stuff, T. Sonic the Hedgehog and SpongeBob, that's bullshit. You're wasting your time. That's what they let those kids do that. <laughs> this stuff though, dude, this is cool. Well, don't and now don't, dude, don't sleep on every night. Yeah. Every night. He binge watches it. It's ten I think ten series. But don't sleep on on the power of fiction. Don't sleep on the power of story. No, this you power need of that story creativity. teaches you va- no, it teaches you values. Yes. So a lot of great stories like SpongeBob that teaches you value mm-hmm. system. My 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 ex sent me a video. She kind of crapped around, and my son was reading on his own. Mm. And he's 10 years old, reading a book, like, without pictures, on his own. I was like, that's fucking, the sh- that, yeah. that's incredible. I love it. And especially, like, my, my daughter at 14, and I don't say this lightly, it's possible that she's read she's smart, almost dude. as much as I have. I know. She's it's insane. Mm-hmm. She's read, Isn't that cool? Oh, it's on, she's read the entire J.R. Tolkien series. It's she's not- read, it's she's not. read the entire J.K. Rowling. That's that stuff. She's like, what? She's read The Outsiders, Animal Farm, Orwell. She's read it all. Read it like and understands it. It's fucking. What's well, like this crazy. dad? This dad I was talking about jiu jitsu. His son's big. And he goes. He goes. You ever seen Fertiland? I go. Oh, the big bull who's like loves flowers and doesn't want to fight. He goes. Yeah. I go. That was me in the UFC. He goes, dude. That's my son. And I go. Well, what's he? In? He goes. I f- have to force him to come to jiu jitsu. He's the biggest kid. He's huge dude he's the undertaker he's so big and i go he's fucking massive dude. he goes i know he's too nice dude i'm trying to i have to drag him here i go what's he like to do he goes loves to read and i went oh fuck i'm jealous man he goes what i go he loves to read. He goes, oh dude he read all the harry potter novels he's 10 he's wow, read all the harry potters daughter. and i go dude that is a gift Bubba. huge gift i go that's such a gift huge gift i go he's gonna dominate school man and then if he does want to play sports at his size all good but man He's into that My shit. My daughter understands story so well. You can't watch a movie with her. I'm telling you. Like she, uh, to the point where she's watching a movie <laughs> and she goes, she goes, uh oh. I go, what? She goes, that guy's about to get killed. I go, what? 
No, he's not. And she's like watching a Jew. football game with Tony Romo. Sw- spear right through his chest. I think yeah. it was uh, fucking whatever that end game or some shit. Yeah. I was like, how the fuck do you know? She goes, because and she went through the whole process. Yeah. She's seen stories so often that she knows. Maybe she'll be a producer, points. writer. You know? 100%. Which should be cool. 100% or an author. It's mm-hmm. unbelievable. I helped her with an audition yesterday. Oh, cool. oh, she's trying to get into. Yeah, so she, she's going to theater camp. So she actually let me help her with an audition. It was awesome. And it's she kind of got a sense. Cause you know it's like I know a couple Daddy things knows about acting, stuff, yeah. a couple things, and she. But uh, your dad, like I'm even dad. Tony Hawk, I'm, I'm dad. Have you heard those Tony Hawk goes? My son, who's a big time skater, and he goes. I came home. My son and his friends were watching these videos, and he goes, "Oh, what are you guys watching?" And he goes, "Come on, dad, just get out of." And he's like, "You know what?" He, and he's like, "We're trying to learn this move." And Tony looks at him and goes, "Oh, oh, I did that like 15 years ago." And they go, "You did?" And he goes. Yeah, man. I'm Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk. That's crazy. They just, it, which dad, you know? It's dad. It's dad. Yeah. Like, I literally was like, I can help you with that musical. She goes, you don't know anything about, you know, and I went, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I might know more than your teacher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Yeah, you don't want to flex on too hard with that stuff. No. Nope. Like, I didn't stuff. say it. I had to just be like, oh, <laughs> was like, dad, what well, the coach yeah. says, do this. I'm like, yeah, I know, but you, you don't flex on Twitter. Just show up in your gi one day. It's and like just you, see what happens. You, you, know? you realize? I know you said do this. It's my life. But I'm gonna show you how. Oh, to, it's my job. It was my, it was my job for many years, son. <laughs> I, I made money doing this, Bubba. Literally, it was like my career choice, man. You know, or he, he had uh, someone, uh, someone, his uncle. My or favorite was that. I go, how would you do against that guy? And and we're walking, and uh, Brendan's face is right here. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like like I go, how do you think you would do against? And he goes, and just before he even said his his face is here as we're walking. He goes, I imagine pretty well, Brian, because I got paid to fight and he's never gotten paid a dime. <laughs> I'd imagine pretty well. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? Uh, Who, like this uh, random guy? Like, yeah. yeah. Great guy, but hmm. not total rando. On that level. Yeah, I love when it's the best when your kids get into the same shit you're into and they don't know. Like my so my his uncle or someone bought him a lacrosse stick. And he goes, Dad, grandpa said you were pretty good at lacrosse. I'm all pretty good. You know? Yeah. Pretty, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. I was all state, Bubba. Yeah. yeah. Played. Yeah, played. Yeah. Played we're number lot. one in the nation, buddy. He's yeah. like, what? I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's like, what? Is there any video? I'm like, I don't think no, so. No, a couple man. things. Yeah, I'm like, here, dude. You know, I love your boy you played pro uh lacrosse with or whatever you played with. Luke him. Gilbert. Tall guy, six six. Handsome Dude, son of a bitch. Fucking freak. He works stud. for like NASCAR sponsorship yeah, he's now. A stud athlete, right? Smart, smart kid, dude. Yeah. Oh, it's dude. At lacrosse, fuck, he was good. 6'6. Six, six. He came from UM, UMBC, which is University of Maryland, Baltimore County, which on the he East might Coast. He's taller than 6'6. Six, six. He's 6'6, six, 6'7, six, six, maybe. Yeah. Handsome bastard. Yeah. Tall, fucking lanky. Man. Dude, he was so Great good man. at lacrosse. Oh. He was like unstoppable. He's an attack man. That's not him. And that was not. Can good. you imagine if that was him? Yeah. Oh, no, you're still on Love on the Spectrum. <laughs> That's him right there on Virgin. That's him right there, Come Luke on. Gilbert. Which one? That's him uh, in the suit in front of the building. Yeah. This one? Yeah. yeah. That's him right there. Yeah, great guy. Great fucking guy. San Diego Seals. Everybody is 6'7". Yeah. And accent and everything. He was the best. Yeah. yeah he was my roommate yeah, at Whittier. He's a great guy. Loves you. Oh, he was good at you. lacrosse. Yeah, oh, oh, my that, God. That he was ridiculous. But he, he, he was a guy who was at UMBC, <clears throat> University of Maryland, Baltimore County, where on the East Coast, lacrosse is Bible, man. I mean, they're fucking... Good man. So he grew up in that culture in Maryland, coming up in lacrosse. That's it. And then he was like, "Hold on, I can leave here, even though it's Division One, and go to Whittier in California. And, you know, they they you know at that there's scholarships. They'll figure it out." And he's like, "But I can play in California and be a superstar, mm-hmm. dude." Well, so so with he tennis, was so good. I grew up watching tennis with guys who played tennis were roughly my size, maybe a little bigger. Some of them were 6'2", and some of them were, you know, um, McEnroe was, and Borg were 165 pounds, right? Yeah. And now tennis is attracting guys who are 6'7", like that. Big boys. Who are crazy athletes. Big boys. Yeah. 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 And, and in Russia and all over the world, and the way they hit, like the speed Not and power so. Not so. is a, literally a different sport. Not so. Everybody had to change their stroke. It, the game just changed. There's no, it's like you can't. But, but when I was coming playing lacrosse, like I started my freshman year, right? Made varsity, was playing my freshman year, first wow. time made varsity, got lettered, four year letterman. But playing lacrosse in Colorado, it, it was just starting to get big in Colorado. Yeah. It must be what it's like for like white guys in the 60s when you're just playing against other white guys and then black guys start coming in. You're like, yeah. holy shit, he just dunked, put his nuts on my face. <laughs> he dunked from the free throw line. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was playing against other white Colorado players and then when I got to college, 
and you're playing with guys in New York, Maryland, Boston, where they've been playing since they were four. A whole different. It thing. must be like being a white guy in the NBA and then black guys are coming. You're like, oh my god, you. Oh no, no, no I, I'm done. So I my, can't play. My buddy, I can't compete. My buddy Finn played for the Cardinals. He was a professional baseball player back when it was. He goes before the Latins got involved. He goes, and then the the Dominican the Dominicans like, came in. Uh, yeah, you're talking about the kid, uh, like some kid goes, from Dude, Puerto goes, Rico. And this kid, my my buddy Finn's a big guy, athlete, but he goes, they were throwing BBs, they were throwing fucking straight line from from center field, like he had never lasers. seen lasers. Lasers. He goes, he I goes, I goes, they were the best athletes I'd ever seen in my fucking life. I'd never seen that kind of strength, speed. It was just literally a different thing. I thought someone marked this yesterday. There should, there should be an asterisk on the Hall of Fame. <laughs> like if you were a white guy that played bef in the 60s in the That's Hall of fair. Fame, there should be an asterisk. That's fair. Hit the ball against other white guys. That's fair. And then, the <laughs> then there should be another Hall of Fame that then there was Latins. And, and there were there were outliers. I'm sure Jerry West would still do really well today. I mean, he played with some black guys, but yeah. like Pistol Pete or like, you know, some of these straight up like Ty Cobb. He know. wasn't hitting junk off a Puerto Rican kid in the Bronx. Yeah. He's hitting fucking a curveball off Jeff. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> other white guys. There should be an asterisk. Well, now now the number of guy, pitchers that pitch 100 miles an hour, it used to be so oh, it's, rare. It's standard. 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 It's so interesting, man. All right, Jim, what do you got? I got to pee. Jim's been quiet. Okay. Let's go pee. pee. I'm nervous. Now, while we're waiting, it is 12, 10 uh, p.m. Pacific. Uh, the Johnny Depp Amber Heard uh, verdict is due any second now. They said 3 p.m. Eastern, which is 12 Ship L.A. Now. time. I think so. she's so clearly lying. I'm just you know, with nervous. the jury, who knows? You never know with the jury. You know what's interesting is the last three nights, This is, and I mean, they're talking about this on the news. The last three nights, clearly he's just taking a private jet, but uh, Johnny Depp, because he has to be in dc for the mm -hmm. trial as soon as trial ends he takes a private jet to england to london and he's been on stage the past three nights wow with the band playing wow, playing in the band badass. so i'm assuming he because he has to be in dc he can't Sleeps not be the there jet. yeah he has to sleep in the jet and come out lands Damn. puts his scarves on mascara and then fucking goes to the courtroom <laughs> puts his scarf and mascara. <laughs> can i give you a quick update a defamation lawsuit between the two of them totaling over 150 million and the jury doesn't fill out the amounts awarded to whomever is found to be in favor like some paperwork error happens and people are like what the fuck like how, you know but they yeah, should be announcing it any logistics second. just do that afterwards let's know who's guilty i know fuck come that. on will you keep an eye on it mark yes all right chin what do you got buddy all right first one's from mark and this i thought was crazy i think too. i think chin couches everything with this is from mark this he is does, from if, it, if he doesn't find he, he did <laughs> years cat would always go brendan sent us <laughs> just say current events man. Hey, we don't need to know who funny, did it. i've not studied this though that's why that's what mark has no, to, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm mark can explain it but we don't need to know who they came from every time <laughs> all right I, it's from sorry, the, I didn't this is from list. marcus it was just funny because i'm like because the, the first i did a few dark ones the first day this is this is what the rumor was and i didn't buy it where yeah. is it, but is this you know, real? You, you know yeah. who said it? Oliver Stone, and I trust him because of his access to Putin. And there's a lot of things that corroborate. Like he may have already beaten this cancer, but like there's there's they talked about it on Breaking Points yesterday, and I also trust them as far as their journalistic integrity. For sure, um, they were like, he's. It's not like he has potentially something. It's like he's an old dude, first of all. So like. I think he's already been through treatment. Seventy, you know, he's seventy something. Yeah, and it's like, 69. like there was some issue. Like you can look at, like he's got this puffy face, and maybe that's due to prednisone. And then he had some things. marks on his face, right? Too. Yeah, and so and he's pulled out of these things. So there's a lot of corroborating evidence where you're like, he yeah, looks that like makes he's had, sense. Uh, his filler. He looks. Oh like yeah. Um, but the the story is an FSB officer described the Russian president's condition as severe a severe form of a rapidly progressing cancer as speculation ramped up that Putin was suffering with some form of serious illness. Says he has no more than two to three years to live. That's what's scary because he's leaving this earth and he wants to leave his mark. Correct. So is he going to release those nukes? You know what I'm saying? That's what's scary. That's what is scary. And then you yes. know Biden's providing Ukraine with missiles, which is a big no-no with the NATO yeah. agreement. Yeah. yeah. I, it's it's a that mix of factors hmm. is uh, worrying to say the least. But yeah, news of the Russian leader's terminal illness emerged as part of a secret message from the Russian agent to fugitive and former FSB agent 
Boris Karpichkov. Karpichkov. This is whispers yeah. about Putin's health beyond at least two years ago when he was said to be suffering from both Parkinson's and cancer. Rough combo. Oh. Yeah, it's tough. But um, you just got to hope that he's, he's not like, all right, I'm out here in two years. Let's release but, the nukes. Yeah, but he yeah. is thinking something, right? He is uh, uh, taking drastic action like that with his legacy in mind. He had something. Well, that's why he's mind. invading Ukraine, right? Yeah. Yeah. But you just don't know what, what what's the extent to which he's willing to his die on legacy. That hill. Yeah. You ever yeah. seen his house, dude? No. <laughs> yes. No, I've not. <laughs> My on God. cribs, yeah. Go ahead and bring that up. Yeah, I wish it was on cribs. <laughs> because because they say he's like a bit like mega billion. Like we don't know how much money he has. Yes. Look at that fucking house, dude. It's a nice uh, <laughs> on the now, beach. Now where is that? That's in it's, the it's in Russia. In the Black Sea or something. Yeah, like I don't that. know. Yeah. Somewhere look at that fucking no, castle. I'm not at it. I'm it's not a castle. At it. Yeah. It's a nice castle. Apparently he has all the money in the world. Yeah, he's got all. How nutsos is that yeah. place? Yeah, he's doing pretty well for himself. He has wives and girlfriends yeah. and shit. He's hitting kids and shit. Sure. Yeah. Red Notice is a book that I'd recommend anyone listening who wants to know more about the the specifics of the uh, kleptocracy that is Russia. Like, how does he funnel all this money into whatever? Oh, with the oligarchs, like all the oligarchs. Yeah, I really didn't know that story. Everything. Yeah, yeah. And how he broke, like he took one of them and like he's like, oh, you like this? You like being in a cage? Give me your half your money. Yeah, the you rest know? of them, <laughs> rest of the population doesn't suffers, yeah. and it's like well, the him and the oligarchs all benefit. You can just have your property or your business taken away from you. Yeah, and by correct. some guy who's connected to the Kremlin. Yeah, but let and, me ask you this: so let's say Putin dies in two years, who takes over? Is there another Question. shithead? Yeah, they, they have people in line. Another shithead? Oh, yeah. But, but there's... Well, they have people in line. You know, my, my, my father did business in Russia in the 90s when mm -hmm. the wall came down and there was all this opportunity. He did a lot of business. He was trying to do business. Yeah. Trying to. And you know what was happening? You know why he got the fuck out and why every American got out, including some other friends I have? They, they, would, they were getting killed. The guys he went to have a meeting with, the guy got fucking assassinated. Yeah. by mafia kremlin kgb yeah because they wouldn't like, agree to terms just, or whatever just, no it's just take your business yeah They're like we're gonna that's, we're gonna take that's your what business red notice is about shoot you. it's like oh oh you, you're succeeding by yeah. like bringing this hedge fund you know into and then, russia and then, yeah too bad we don't like that and then uh, and then uh, putin decided this was going to be a disaster for foreign investment yeah so he basically got the spetsnaz guys to get into vans and they knew where all these mafia guys were they were all these like you know they, they would just be sitting there having tea they come out of vans, they kill all of them, they shot a bunch of them, and it still didn't work. At that point, it was like, no, 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 this is, so, so who, you know. I mean, I, I heard Putin's not like, he's not liked. He's not, he's not like his approval rating in, in Russia, he's liked. In Russia, he's a strong man that Russians always, because remember, he did give the Russians stability, prosperity to an extent in comparison, and in comparison to other leaders, other Russian leaders of their history, like he didn't kill a lot of people. He didn't. He didn't like not go he, and purge. Not compared things. to that, no. but it's also like in his cabinet, like the next guy up. I heard there's like huge disagreement. That's why Putin always like meets with him on like Zoom and I'm shit sure. like that. So I assume maybe the next guy up isn't gonna be as much as a. You run a business. You run a business. You, yeah. you don't run a big business. You run a business, and yeah. you put out a lot of fires. Think yeah. about running a country with all those oh, cutthroat motherfuckers. I can't imagine. You. I can't imagine. It's a constant thing, and he's always worried about getting usurped and killed. Yep. Yeah, you know, you're I, dealing yeah, with. I would not want that gig. No, he maybe he got. I don't boys. know why anybody wants to be president. No. It's a nightmare. What else you got, Jen? All right, here's another current event. Mark. Yeah. Oh yes, yes, yes. I can open up that one. Oh. Uh, so I thought this was interesting, given our what we were talking about earlier. Um, Maya Cohen's entree into the world of obesity medicine came as a shock. So basically, she was trying to get this obesity medication, and her doctors wouldn't approve it. Uh, she saw the price her pharmacy was charging 1500 bucks a month. Her insurer classified it as a vanity drug and would not cover it. The, but the what's, drug is, what's the obesity pill? It's called Saxenda, and it's basically like it regulates appetite and like insulin and like, um, like a glucagon, like, you know, like Modern. it's not it's not a it's not a stimulant. In other words, it's it regulates the actual but hormones. It curbs your appetite. Yeah, like and I thought that was and stuff. Now like let's that. just say yeah. you're like I don't know, 240 pounds, pretty in good shape, and yeah. you took that. Yeah. <laughs> what happens? Yeah. It's not too, I, do I well, get down to you know, I looked up some of the uh, the side effects. And, you know, they always make it sound bad, but it's like, um, you know, to make sure sex end is safe for you, tell your doctor if you have 
stomach problems causing slow digestion, kidney or liver disease, high triglycerides, heart problems, a history. Those are things that you should know sure, beforehand. Sure, but what's the side effects? The side effects I saw were like throwing up, okay. you know, nausea. But again, you don't know what that what the percent yeah the side effects just is. become bulimic when so i when I, had, when I had my psoriasis <laughs> before i worked with dan garner who cured me fucking when i had psoriasis I, there was a cream that i does I, I don't need my insurance and they go well you do it's because like one tooth cream, right? costs fifteen hundred dollars holy shit and i was like what and it, and of course then i got it for like twelve dollars because you use good rx yeah. I use fighter, good oh, rx yeah and um but it worked um it worked not at all not at all oh, really it didn't help creams that dermatologists will give you creams they don't work you can do humera you can do you can't get life insurance on it you can do certain biologics that like cure you real shit but the, the, the creams didn't work for you no, no yeah you're right that's a joke bad. remember that then yeah, it all went away fun. a lot of it's yes uh, it's, it's something that i only found out about today but is it this but a pill that anybody can take who's overweight it's, a, it's an injection oh yeah so you right just don't get hungry it regulates it you feel it makes you feel full not me i'm not know. taking that shit <laughs> an <laughs> injection <laughs> mark said we can yeah. get down the dark web so mark, I, I actually i'm going to <laughs> um because a lot of i mean like let's just be honest a lot of the stuff that you that. buy yeah, yeah if there's a market for it the only thing is like if nobody's buying if there's not a like a you know if you can't make money off it it's not gonna people be aren't selling web. it but if there is then yeah yeah, if you're a bodybuilder or a fighter and you're cutting weight and you take this, you're not hungry. Yeah, because it's non state Everything else is kind of like, whether it's clen or caffeine or like whatever stimulant, like you, your body gets used to it so quickly. For sure. You know what I mean? So it starts yeah. to, so something like this is an interesting thing to look into. Hell yeah, it is. And maybe bring it to the office and just kind of leave it on the table. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right. Any updates on? Okay, I'm going to do it one more time mm -hmm. because it seems like everybody's like, they didn't fill out the paperwork correctly. Um, Me too, for some weird reason. <laughs> this is but I think no matter what happens, Johnny Depp in the public guy is, he won. Yeah. Unanimous yeah. verdict. Wait, my sister making me listen to the verdict. God, ah. Okay, the it is unanimous verdict. That's what we know. And it's unanimous. It has to be for this Johnny. Is ten, God damn, we should just live stream it. Mm -hmm. um, live stream actually, on you know your laptops. Yeah. They they they've reached a verdict, but they don't. They're going to announce it when. I don't know. The dude. other one, the other current event we had was Jada Pinkett Smith. What is it? <laughs> Jada Pinkett Smith says she's finally addressing the infamous, infamous Oscars slap, but rather than apologizing, she's saying Chris Rock and Will Smith both have to set aside their differences. I love that, like fake, like you guys. But it's like, well, do you have an opinion on this, or you're they, saying you both, guys need to get together? They're both obviously. guilty of, of what, dude? Yeah. Want to hear it? Yeah. Here we go. This is a really important red table talk on alopecia. Considering what I've been through with my own health and what happened at the Oscars, thousands have reached out to me her. with their stories. Nope. I'm using this moment to give our alopecia family an opportunity to talk about what it's like to have this condition and to inform people about what alopecia actually is. Now about Oscar night, I she looks hot she has all her follicles, so I don't get it. These two intelligent, capable men have an opportunity to heal, talk this out, and reconcile the state of the world today we need them both and we all actually need one another more Is than there ever stylist Kermit until the frog? then will and i are continuing to do what we have done for the last 28 years and that's keep figuring out this thing called life together thank you God, for listening what a waste of time her hair looks like if she grew it out it'd be super thick you see everything there mm -hmm. so when she all says alopecia yeah alopecia is like you're missing oh, Patrick. Oh, Johnny won. 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 Yeah. He one won. for the good guy. Really? Uh, yes. Unanimous. Wow. <coughs> of course. A he unanimous won. verdict. They're getting a lot of yeses right now. Wow. Okay. Well, if it's unanimous, all you need is one yes. Yes. Give me a sip of that. Give me a sip of that. Answer. Yes. Question. The statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp. Answer. Yes. <laughs> Question. The defamatory implication was designed and intended by Ms. Hurd. Answer. Yes. Question. Due to circumstances surrounding the publication Oops. of the statement, it conveyed a defamatory implication to someone who saw it other than Mr. Depp. Answer. Yes. Wow. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Hurd acted with actual malice? 
Damn! Three, as to the statement <laughs> appearing in the op-ed entitled A Transformative Moment for Women It's a win for truth. I say that. Yeah. This is the, the truth. online op-ed, Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In the Washington Post online edition, quote, I had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Oof. Has Mr. Depp proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, the statement was made or published by Ms. Hurd? Answer. Come on, dude. <laughs> I'm sure question, it's yes. The statement was about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. This is all going on now? Question. The statement was false. Answer, yes. Question. The statement all. has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Question. The defamatory implication was designed and intended by Ms. Hurd. Answer. Yes. Question. Due to circumstances surrounding the publication of this statement, it conveyed a defamatory implication to someone who saw it other than Mr. Depp. Yeah, we can, Answer. We play yes. Just whichever. Do you oh, no, it's find fine. that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing She's evidence that no. Ms. Hurd acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. You got destroyed. Fuck you guys. As against Amber Heard, we the jury award compensatory damages in the amount of $10 million. Ten mil. Damn. As against Amber Heard, we the jury award punitive damages oh. in the amount of $5 million. 15. 15. In civil case number CL 2019-2911, Ms. Heard's claim against Mr. Depp one, as to this statement appearing in the April 8, 2020, online edition of the Daily Mail, quote, Amber Heard and her friends in the media use fake sexual violence allegations Oof. as both a sword and shield, depending on their needs. They have selected some of her sexual violence hoax facts as the sword, inflict inflicting them on the public and Mr. Depp. Do you find that Ms. Hurd has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, no. Two, as to this statement appearing in the April 27, 2020 online edition of the Daily Mail, quote, quite simply, this was an ambush, a hoax. They set Mr. Depp up by calling the cops, but the first attempt did not do the trick. The officers came to the penthouses thoroughly searched and interviewed and left after seeing no damage to face or property. So Amber and her friends spilled a little wine and roughed the place up, got their story wow. straight under the direction of a lawyer, wow. publicist, and then placed a second call to 911, end quote. Scumbags. Do you she find that Ms. Heard has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Has Ms. Heard proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, Mr. Waldman, while acting as an agent for Mr. Depp, made or published the statement? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was about Ms. Heard. Answer, yes. Her career. Question, she's an asshole. Other than Ms. She Heard. has no Answer, morals yes. to do that. Dude, she's gonna and have to, they, this is so beautiful for me. Dude, she's going to have to be in Answer, Aquaman yes. 15 Fucking to pay off beautiful. Johnny Depp. One for the good guys, one for truth. Fuck you. Keep listening to her. Should we pause? Answer, yes. But she's saying this is for Three. her. Oh, it's for her. Yes, I don't get it. In the April 27th. Oh. 2020 online edition of the Daily Mail, quote, we've reached the beginning of the end of Miss Heard's abuse hoax against Johnny Depp, end quote. Do you find that Miss Heard has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, no. As against John C. Depp II, we, the jury, award compensatory damages in the amount of $2 million. So that's $17 million. As against John C. Depp II, we, the jury, award punitive damages in the amount of zero dollars. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Does either side wish to have the jury polled? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Jamie? Members of the jury, if this is your verdict, please answer yes. If this is not your verdict, please answer no. I had to do this. Juror number six. Yes. Juror number 10. Yes. Juror number 15. Yes. Juror number 16. Yes. Never heard better strike up that OnlyFans. So the, the two million verdict, I guess, is against Depp for that really specific thing, which is like, so it's like he gets 15 million, she gets two million. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes your service in this case. I want to thank you again for your dedication and your hard work during this trial. I know I speak for everybody here uh, when I appreciate, tell you that we appreciate your sacrifices and your time and your public service in this matter. Okay. So I'm going to have you go back to the jury deliberation room for one more uh, time and then we'll release you from there. Okay. All right. Thank you. Holy That's fuck. It. Guaranteed she starts fake crying. You want to bet? <laughs> Well, Jesus I don't know Christ. how fake you could be. That your whole life just got fucking destroyed. Yeah. You're seventeen million dollars in debt now. Fifteen. Yeah. Well, so I guess the two million was against debt, like, because there was some article where they like claimed that she rough like oh, that, that was because they switched at some point. They're like fifteen million, and then they're oh, like okay, okay. in the countersuit. You yeah, know, but isn't she gonna have to pay for all his lawyer fees too? Since she lost, probably it's a two million. Well, well, enjoy <laughs> that. Well, no, it's enjoy that. That's enjoy that. Enjoy that, Elon Musk. Dollars, I can at tell least, you. yeah, at least. So you know, at this point, she doesn't have that money. She no, like I said, she doesn't have to make Aquaman seventeen just to pay John. Well, yeah. I, I, like for real, she might be thinking about an OnlyFans or finding a very rich husband, or you know, there's yeah. got to be something. Like having a kid with a billionaire. What a nightmare! Or something, yeah. But you can claim poverty. You can claim like I don't have that. Money. You just fought. Yeah. That seven million fought. dollars that you were going to give to those people, you're going to have to give right over oh, yeah. to Johnny Depp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that you were it's definitely like, going to give. We you know you were definitely like, going to give that seven mil. Yeah. So now you're you're eight million dollars in debt or fuck yeah one for the good guys wow yep. I think people i think mm -hmm. and i think women and men for that matter will women think twice men. before they yeah, start spreading accusations do. before you ruin defamation. somebody's life yeah. with yeah. an accusation and, and when somebody can't defend themselves you know yes it's like and it's and if yeah. it's 22 years later i guess you just got to eat all the dicks <laughs> and then you get a journalist that's super, nothing you do you get a journalist that's just dying to be you know to, to make a name for themselves and they go to twitter or they try mm -hmm. to find people and it's it's it, it is what it is it it's is. coming back around what else you got jen um shout out to johnny debt we're at two hours how many guys want keep going is, I there, mean, is there any more good ones that was good. that's a good, good way to end we can end on amber hood unless you got unless some you got something else you want to see a better. great white shark eating a seal but it's very yeah. very bad the video i, I kind of do want okay. to yeah. so this is the very first one of the season and this is in massachusetts in Nantucket. I mean, I don't, that's nature. Dude. And it's annoying because the girls in the video, but you'll see. Oh Can you hear it? It's a seal swimming for his you know, life. Women are screaming about nature. You could see the blood, which is kind of cool. You see that, right? Mm -hmm. That's so wild. I've been swimming on that beach. I've been swimming on that beach many times back in the day. <laughs> Great whites everywhere. It gets deep right away, too. Would you go again, though, after seeing nope. this? <laughs> I would no. never swim in the no. ocean. Hmm. Never again. Not with that shit. Mm -mm. That was a terrible video. <gasps> I know. I told you it was going to be terrible. <laughs> oh, I thought Hold it was going to be terrible. That's like, what gory. sucks, too. So this happened, and people are so stupid. They get like, this super doesn't close suck. to It's like play stupid games when stupid Yeah, but people prizes. continue to do it. People yeah, continue people to do it. They get fucked near. up. Let me see this one. But here's the thing. This is not the video of the actual goring. Oh, so it's a woman just got a gored. bison hanging out? <laughs> no. I'll show you. So this is actually kind of an entertaining video. But So a bison gored a woman after she walked up to him in Yellowstone Park, which happens, I guess, pretty frequently. Bisons are the ones... That are responsible for the most They're attacks. Super aggressive, yeah. man. But people keep wanting to get close and taking pictures. It's so stupid. So this is a previous one in 2020, and then this girl plays dead after she gets close to it. Watch. Play dead. Like, no, Everyone yeah, is playing dead. Too. I, I didn't know Buffalo chill if you play dead. Uh, yeah, you stay down. But you're so dumb. God, do me a favor. There. Quit yelling at you this guys. You guys are so know. dumb for being out there. Yeah, Jim Gaffigan bit about playing dead when you're a bear. It's like, who wrote that? The bears? Like, oh, play dead and wrap yourself in honey. 
But she made it out by playing dead. Yeah, get the fuck out of there. Well, but man, just don't go so that stupid, with, yeah. Don't do that with... Yeah, yeah but just leave the buffalo and Bison, alone. Uh, but Bison also didn't gore her. Yeah. She's yeah. fine. You try to no, the her. other lady got gored, though. Mm. Yeah, the other lady got fucked up. You want to see a quick knockout? This is Marius. Oh, yeah, it's a great Pujanowski. knockout, too. He was like a strong man winner. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this guy's not... He's strong no Trump well. either. The guy he fought is like 30-something and 9. Yeah. 39-9. There's a spot oh, around his back. Like, it's an undercut. Oh. Oh. God, get in there, ref. And he's so jacked. All natty. Yeah, he went All He natty. went over the top and then did the same thing. Looked like, like he was going to do it again. And boom. Nasty. Yeah. Shit, I wanted to bring up something we talked about in yesterday's episode. Mahmoud Sebi is the guy. I found out who you're talking about. Mahmoud um, said, oh, the guy at like, ATP. Like, tagged him. They're like, ATP you from about? Egypt. Oh, the, uh, did they? Did he hear about it? Dime piece. Oh, yeah. Awesome. So, he name? Mahmoud Ma Sebi. M A H. Yeah. Mahmoud. I think that was his name, Mahmoud. 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 And then S E B I E. Yeah, Habibi Mahmoud. He's yeah. His his physique is ridiculous. Yeah, there he is. Super huge. Yeah. Yes. Super thin waist. He's like Kron Grace. Long arms. Yeah, that's that. He's like Kron Grace. That's it, dude. You found him. He looks better than even that in person. You're like his skin looks even better than that. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, I used. I mean, I've Egyptians do have some good genetics. Handsome son of a bitch. Yeah. Wow, Olympic wrestler too. Yeah. Shred silly abs. His abs look better than that. I don't know. That's crinkle. weird looking. It's hard yeah, to be washed out, yeah. but you can like he's got yeah, deep go. ab insertions. Just walks super around. broad chest. No, he um, looks fantastic. He looks thin though. Yeah, Small. Uh, he's probably an eighty fiver. Big guy. He looked pretty big to me. I he don't does know. not look like an eighty fiver. Every he? bit of click uh, on him at that five MA junkie. I'm guessing article. 170. Yeah, he looks like a welterweight. Yeah, maybe yeah. Five, five eleven. I don't know how much what he sucks down to, but you know those wrestlers can suck. Right. Yeah. At least competing at one. I'm sure he walks around at one eighty five. Go down, Chin. He's just starting it. out. Oh, they don't have I'm going to look it up right now. Well, he's, he's just starting out. Um, yeah, I wonder, he looks like a well What did he wrestle at in college? You know, I mean, in, uh, not college. In, in yeah, he's Olympics. a 170-pounder. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. Good call. Yeah, 170. Five Greco Roman. Roman. Mm -hmm. Walks around probably 200. Thick guy. Shout out to Ma Mahmoud. Mahmoud, yeah. yeah. Mahmoud Fawzi. Yeah. Mahmoud Fawzi. 5'11". He's Roman. Jack City. Yeah. He's 3-1. Oh, his nickname is Prince of Egypt. Wow. Great name. Yeah. <laughs> a million followers. What the <laughs> freak? Oh, yeah. Well, come on. He's Egyptian, he's man. Egyptian yeah. Olympian. He's got his people at he's home. He's an Olympian, yeah. You got to love him. I didn't expect that's that, what, That's what just walks around like that. And you're like, yeah. fuck off. Yeah, he looks sweet. Yeah. Oh, and I met that guy, too, at, at Top Team. He's a, another killer. He's about to fight for the Bellator title, that guy. The black Sadat. guy on the left, yeah. It's, a, it's a, like the American top team has got Russians, Egyptians, Lebanese, you know, uh, Brazilians. everybody, everybody, yeah. black, Brazilians, keep black, naming. black Americans. Going. Keep naming, yep, you know. keep naming. It's just the United Nations in there. Cool. Yeah, he's jacked. Is that I it? I fly myself, I That's can look it. like that. Well, I'm not oh, going to hell time. yeah, B. Every time. <laughs> what? Well, we don't look like that. But we're going to. But if you want to get a look of the real thick boy here, I'm in Portland next week, next Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Portland, that's the Helium, June 9th through 11th. Portland, Oregon, come get some. Then San Francisco at the Cobbs, Friday, Saturday only, uh, June 17th through the 18th. And then uh, from there, if Chin would just scroll down, quit eating. Uh, <laughs> scroll up because you missed it. Uh, the Fort Wayne, Indiana. Fort Ooh, yeah. Wayne, July 14th through the 16th. San Diego is July 21st to the 23rd. Then I end the Trash Panda Summer Tour, whole new hour, August 4th through the 6th in Baltimore. There you go. But Philly, you're up next week, baby. Come get some Philly tickets at thickboy.com. Richmond, Virginia, this weekend, uh, this coming weekend, Friday, Saturday, Funny Bone, Omaha, Nebraska, next weekend, June 10th and 11th, Friday, Saturday, come get some. I am not doing Ontario. I got to take that off my pot, off the website. You said website. that yesterday. Uh, and uh, best of my YouTube show is going to be airing. It looks like this Friday, motherfucker. This Friday on Should Brian Callen on YouTube. On the Brian Callen YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Yep. That's right. So come on over. Go get some. Come check, Portland. Check See you next week. We love you guys. Congrats, Johnny Depp. Johnny this Depp. This is the Fighter yeah. Kid. We're out.